Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition, playoff edition of Drumride Tornadoes TV on Squirtle. My name is Gene Carroll, and as always, I'm here with my partner, Mr. <coughs> Tony Harper. We're coming to you live from Riddle Field on the campus of Drumride High School where tonight your Drumlight Tornadoes host the Caddo Bruins in round two of the Oklahoma Class B State Football Playoffs. Uh, the Tornadoes come in tonight's game with a 11-0 record after eliminating the Davenport Bulldogs by the score 62-12. Last week, Caddo defeated Foil 60-8 in a shortened contest. Only 16 teams remained in this tournament, and tonight throughout the state, the cream of the crop will rise to the top, and I'm hopeful that the Tornadoes will rise to the occasion. The game will not be easy and most likely a four-quarter game, so buckle up. It's going to be fun. A little bit about Caddo before I turn it over <coughs> to Tony. That uh, They come in tonight's game with a 9-2 record. Runner-up in District B-5 to the Dewar Dragons. They are led by their senior quarterback, Colton Spears, who can hurt you with the run and the pass. They have talented receivers, uh, number 2 A.J. Peavy House and number 12 Jake Mullins. They possess good hands and speed, so that will present some challenges for our secondary of Cole, Gregory, Jonathan Chavez, Kevin Gooch, and, and some others out there in the backfield. Um, my keys tonight for the success, Tony, are the Tornadoes are simple. is limit the big plays, win the line of scrimmage battle, tackle well, and not turn the ball over. I know I took up a lot, but that those are very important, <laughs> and we should be able to do well. What do you think? Well, is there anything else? Yep. I mean, you, you do those paces of the game right, and you ought to end up on the good end of the state. I didn't say anything about special teams, but I should No, yeah. So uh, we had the privilege of sitting down and talking to the coach some this week, and uh, some things that he emphasized to us was, uh, as always, uh, you you got a spear Spears. You got their quarterback, is, his last name is Spears. You got to put you got to put the heat on him. You got to put pressure on him. He can't get comfortable in games they've won this year. He's been very comfortable, and he can hurt you with his feet and his arm. And uh, 
So that's definitely somebody we want to pay attention to. We're probably going to go with a little uh, inside push and then have some outside uh, rush, maybe even a spy on the quarterback. He He's very dangerous that way. Keep the wide receivers in front of you. Don't let the wide receivers get past you. Uh, we're going to play a lot of zone tonight, I, I anticipate, so that will help with that. Uh, we're also having a spy on maybe on – Maybe we might do that. We might not, but I, I think we will probably have a spy on that quarterback. Spears is a dangerous player. Um, take advantage on offense. Take advantage of, of of our strengths and our strengths and our identity. And that we're, we've had a lot of time uh, for a lot of players to play. Uh, the last four or five games, we, tornadoes have not been challenged. And so tonight is a night for BK1, uh, Bryson, Bryson Kelly, uh, to take off, and we want to give them a big dose of Bryson and um, see if they want to get uh, make a business decision and try to hit Bryson or, or go down towards the shoestrings. Gene? Yeah, uh, Bryson, I'm sure they're going to be keying on him like everybody does, but uh, like you said, we've got other weapons. We're, we're able to use those weapons, and uh, uh, we're not one-dimensional. We can run and pass the ball. Um, I think we're, we're doing well in both, uh, both of those phases, so we should be okay. Um, Tony, I just want to uh, thank a couple of people. We got Jamie Oster right up here that runs our runs our camera for us, but him and a few others went across in the park and, and uh, had an alumni tailgating event, and he said there was about 30 or 40 people over there, a bunch of people he hadn't seen in a while. Um, and, and I love it that they're here supporting their school and this team. So I uh, appreciate them. Blake Gibson, Barry Gibson. Uh, who else was over there, James? Beth, Beth Gibson, Beth Gibson Clark, Steve Hickman, Hickman Dole Duran. Duran. There was a bunch of people over there, so we appreciate the, the turnout. The book out? Ten. Ten book out? Did they allow Brett to get in, even though no, he wasn't alumni? No, I had security. <coughs> he had a waiver, but we kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> so Brett got the waiver. That's yeah, cool. he didn't. Um, man, that's awesome. You know, when's the last time uh, Drum Ride alumni got together for a football game? Never? Yeah, I mean. I mean, there's awesome. excitement in the air. I mean, I've never it. been to this point. So uh, everything we do is, uh, you know, new, and uh, uh, we need to enjoy the ride, and uh, hopefully we can come out with a victory tonight and take the next step. We'll take a quick break. We'll come back with the uh, national anthem and maybe the captains. We'll, you're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. We execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and uh support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers talk about a win-win advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than ten dollars a game call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech.
Uh, we're back here at Riddle Field uh, waiting for the national anthem here. Um, Drumright comes into this game uh, well prepared. Um, they had a good week of practice. As Tony said earlier, we visited with Coach, and, and uh, he thought they had a really good practice and, and uh, have uh, look forward to playing this game. So um, I thought it was going to be a cold night, but, man, it's perfect out there for football. Tony's sticking his hand out being the weatherman there. What yeah. do you think, T-Bone? I love it. I'm looking out here over the bleachers and everything. Uh, it's a packed house for the Tornado Nation tonight. They showed up in groves and – we can't ask for any more than that. I see a lot of familiar faces, a lot of alumni out there, too. Um, There's a lot, of, a lot of people here that, uh, that haven't really seen a football game in a long time, but we welcome them here and get used to this. A lot of room in the wagon. <laughs> the Bruins had that drive about... Three, almost three hours, a little over three hours to get here, so um, it's going to take a while for them to get home, but hopefully that uh, they won't be happy on that way home. Yeah, hopefully it's uh, mercy rule and they get to go home early. So. Uh, I, I, I hate when you say that. I know, and I say it all the time, too, and I haven't <laughs> been wrong too often, but the only reason why we haven't had the mercy rule a couple times this year is because Coach wanted to stretch the game out and get players in the game. So... Um, their biggest win of the year would be uh, Weber's Falls, right, Gene? Yeah, I think so. I mean, they've played both Dewar and Velma Alma, who kind of put it on them a little bit, but those are two really good teams in the state. So, And, then, and then us, we you'd say our best win was? Uh, Region, Region Prep, Prep, you know. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, I think the Barnsdall win is, is coming back. I know they lost their quarterback, but they're playing really good football. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't win tonight. So Yale. <clears throat> Yeah, Yale's playing good football. Um, I, 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 Tony thinks they're going to beat Kyoto. I hope they do. I don't think they will, but I, I hope they do. Um, I think Yale uh, pushed us a lot more uh, than uh, than they did, and I'm surprised that they made it through the first round. Actually, uh, not Yale, but uh, Kyoto, because they they beat they had a team that they beat in the first round that. I think that team beat them earlier in the year, but I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, um, tornadoes are captains are coming out tonight. They're in the north end zone, getting ready to walk out on the field here. It's a madhouse up here in the tornado uh, press box tonight. <laughs> yeah, we got number one Bryson Kelly. Uh, number 75, Jackson Bolton. Number 7, Cole Gregory. And number 28, Kevin Gooch. I'll get to Caddo Bruins here in just a minute. Once they turn around here, Tony, I'll, I'll get them before they get out there. I'll try to help you with the numbers. Number 1, Colton Spears. Number 11, I don't have an 11, Tony, do you? No, there's not one on here. Number 40, uh, Hunting Day, Hunter Day, I'm sorry. And number 13 is Brody Brazil. And then mystery number 11. We apologize, we don't have that number, but it's not on the program provided, so. Did Coach mention when he talked to us, did he say something about uh, them maybe alternating numbers? I can't remember. Yeah, he did, but I don't think it was them. I think it was a, I think it was a mo Hog Molly, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, I think you're right. I just remember him saying that. See what happens here, what, what Coach or decides to do if we happen to win this. Okay. Number 12. Jake Mullins is now number 11. Appreciate okay. that. Thank you, Jamie. Sweet. Okay. Well, we're evidently talking over. I think Cato's won the toss. We'll see here. Yeah, Cato's won the toss, and they elected to defer to the second half, so that means Drummond will get the ball first. 
And so we'll get the ball and defend the north end. I, I like it better when we go on offense first. I mean, we go down and set the tone, and and uh, you know, usually we score on the first drive. We've done good on that. I Sometimes don't we score stats. on the first play. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah that's true, too. <laughs> that always helps set the tone. Well, you know, like I said, there's, there's very few teams left here, and every one of them are, can beat anybody at any time. So, you know, this is this has got to be a game that we're going to have to focus and, and – uh, do what we do best. Oh, we talked to. Uh, Here we got a national anthem. We got a national anthem, then I'll get on it. Awesome. Always gets you going, doesn't it? I love that song. Yeah. Hey, uh, before the game I was saying, before the National Anthem, um, had a chance to talk to some alumni. Uh, called me on the phone. Had uh, from the class of 82, Kelly Klaus, and he's at home watching the tornadoes uh, with uh, good friend uh, Tony Ishmael. And uh, so they're, they're on the ranch over at Bristow. Um, and then our normal suspects that uh, always watch us uh, on Squirtle. Uh, uh, I'd like to talk to, uh, get a shout out to uh, Sandy Perry. Uh, she texted me or messaged me on Facebook, and I didn't do it, but she's watching on at the deck, I'm sure tonight. So Sandy, yeah, glad to hear from you. Hope you hope we get a victory for you. And finally, before we get started, oh Don King. Graduate of 1972 in Drumright High School. Yes, he's, he's been real supportive of Tony and I and followed the uh, tornadoes. Oh. So we appreciate Don. I know he's doing Jinx Trojans tonight. So, Oh, yeah. Don King helped out with a um, – years ago when we were in the DAA and, and, and trying to raise money and stuff, Don King gave a lot of memorabilia for us to auction off uh, that he had saved through the years. Yeah. Don – had a wealth of things, as you can imagine, through the years that he saved up, and he graciously gave those things up for for us to uh, auction off. Big drum right supporter. Well yeah. I, tornadoes are in the, uh, what what do you call that? Uh, <laughs> tunnel. Yeah, that's <laughs> it, the tunnel. I, the Bru Bruins are making their way onto the field, but we're waiting on our tornadoes. And I, I want to. Thank everyone that's ran the camera for us this year because I'll tell you what, if you go on Squirtle and you look at some of those games that are, are going on, sometimes it's like you're in the middle of a tornado and an earthquake. <laughs> um, and, I, and I'm not going to name any names or say any towns, but I'm just saying you guys did a great – you guys really did a great job, and I know people at home appreciate it because I've sat there and tried to watch some of those other games. Here they come. Here we go. Big Jackson Bolton leading the pack out. And I'll tell you, Gene, uh, wasn't it impressive this week when we got to go by and talk to Coach and who was out on the practice field by himself pushing 
pushing himself. Yeah, absolutely. Working getting, on getting extra work in. Jackson Bolton. Uh, you know, there were no teammates around, no coaches around. It was just him. And, and uh, I'm, hitting I'm that 0-2 impressed. loser. Yep, sure impressed with that kid. Working on the swim move, working on some moves that he wanted to uh, get a little bit better at. So, and that's senior liter- le- leadership right there too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Tornado's here. We're going to receive the kickoff. Going from the north to south here. Tornado f- fans, somebody you want to keep your eye on tonight. Uh, Manny, he just w- works all the time, but doesn't get a lot of credit for everything he does, and that's uh, Chase Blowers. Um, there'll be times when uh, if it wasn't for him, um, there wouldn't be big plays made. Yeah, he's been banged up a little bit, but I'm glad to see him out there plugging away. We need him. So here we go. Jake McKay kicking the ball off Tony out of bounds there. Yeah, we'll get it on 35, correct? I hope that's where we take it, and I think that's where a coach will take it right there at the 35. A lot of times an eight-man, if you don't have somebody that can put it in the end zone, we talked to Coach a little bit about that this week, Gene. If you don't have somebody that you know can plant it in the end zone, uh, you're just as good giving it to them on the 35, right? Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, they're going to tack on five, but we'll take that. So here we go. Tornadoes break the huddle. We got uh, twins out to the left with Chavez. Kelly in the backfield, I believe, with Kevin Gooch. Kelly takes off to his right. Here we go. Uh, good open field tackle by the Bruins. Uh, Kelly with a gain of about two. That was number eight, Ryder Wingfield on the tackle. Senior defensive back there making a good play. Not a lot of people's done that to Bryson. Well, he made a, he made a smart choice in hitting him low. Yeah, well, I, I think Bryson will adjust to that a little bit. And, but... Uh, the more times he has to hit him, the better off we are. Cause That's right. We're going to win that battle, hopefully. Here we go on second down. Tornadoes uh, still twins left. Bryson looks like he's making an adjustment. Option play. Pitches it out to Kevin Gooch. Breaks one tackle. Still on his feet. Gain of about a yard for the Tornadoes. Colton Hicks and uh, A.J. Peavy House on the tackle there. Um, these guys, pretty good job of pursuing to the ball. Yeah, they're going to... Uh, in the little film that I was watching, they, they really pursue to the ball, and, and hopefully we can catch them over-pursuing. Um, Tornadoes with a third down, third and six. Kelly takes a snap, looks, throws out in the flat. Block. Chavez Looking got a block. Out, baby. And there's uh, a first and ten. There's some flags flying. Dirty laundry. We're going to have a hold on us up here at the, about the 30, uh, 45 yard line, Tony. I don't know what they got there past the line of scrimmage. No, no hit out of bounds. Yeah, that may be it. I mean, we may. Uh, okay. What they'll do is they'll mark off that holding first and then mark off 15 for that late hit if that's what it is. And we'll come out five on top. There's a late hit. After they do the holding. Holding. Back to in. Oh, there's, I don't know what the flag was what? over there. Well, it, it would have been 15, right? If it's what we thought it was. Yeah, it may have fell out of his pocket, but it looked like he threw it. <laughs> he threw that thing, <laughs> dude. He, he threw that thing 15 yards. That's going to bring up a third and 13, though. If I can see it, you know it is. Well, it brings up a situation third and 13 for the Tornadoes. Hadn't been behind the sticks a lot this year, but we find ourselves Twins there right. Now. Kelly drops back. Looks to throw over the middle. Screen. Pass complete. We Look got it again. We'll get the first down. Atta boy. Is that Gooch on yes, the loop? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. That's a great play call by Coach, and they that caught him in that defense, and we got that screen pass for the first down. That goes back to we're not we're not one dimensional, Tony. We can throw the ball a little bit. That's right. Showed it, showed it right there. Hey, the longer we keep the ball, the longer their quarterback is on, sitting down on the bench over there. Oh, he's got a hole. Oh, he got a hand. There goes good. Oh, good open field tackle by the Bruins right there. Is that enough for the first down, Gene? I think he's just a bit short, Tony. He's going to bring up about a yard and a half. Worrying me a little bit. These guys are going for these ankles, and 
We're, I mean, it, Kevin come up hobbling a little bit on that. <laughs> So we go second and short. Chavez out to the right. Kelly takes a snap. He's got the first oh, down. Still the on his loose. BK1, one move. Whoa, that got broken ankle. Oh, he's gone. Kelly's still moving. Breaks a tackle. He's in the end zone. Tornado touchdown. That's going to be a 38-yard touchdown run, Tony, for Bryson Kelly. You've you seen a variety of moves put on by Bryson right then. Yeah, it, he made two or three people miss, and then he's hard to bring down in, when he gets started. So that's a good opening drive for the Tornadoes. We got that first down, third and 13. Yeah, the only thing we wanted to improve on last week was our two-point conversions. Let's hope we got that fixed. You can tell the Bruins have been coached well. Uh, Chavez split out to the right. Kelly in the shotgun, takes a snap, goes up the middle. I like uh, that two-point conversion. And boom, it's in. Tornadoes. So, with 9.13 left to go in the quarter, Tornadoes 8, Bruins 0. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Drum Mike Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our now here we go drum about to kick off here tom yeah we got is uh conrad reed going to do the kicking for drum rider is that uh number seven is that cole gregory i can't no, that's, tell that's conrad i believe okay what was, number do they have back there deep? They got those little numbers, too, for us guys yeah. that can't see anything. <laughs> I think it's number two there, A.J. Peavy House. I think okay. He's back Thank deep. you, Gene. There's a great kick by uh, Conrad Reed. They but, take it. They were ready for it. He's out of bounds, I believe, isn't he, right there? Where, yeah, about the 42-yard um, line. Kevin Gooch. That's a good kick, good location. So the Bruins take their first possession at their own 42-yard line. Come on, Hawks, let's go! Now, now, Keto will they will uh, run no huddle, but they won't they won't run hurry up. So they'll be they'll be in no huddle offense. Tornadoes come out with a three-man front, and we've got right now we got Bolton and Blowers, and uh, I believe that's Owen Gray, isn't it, on the far yes, side? Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Pass intended for number 11. Jake, uh, Jake Mullins. Jake Mullins. And out on the coverage for the Tornadoes, number five, uh, Jackson Mock, and 28, Kevin Gooch. I think uh, Chavez got his hand on yeah, that, Tony. Yeah, yeah, he did. And that was almost his uh, seventh interception of the year, wasn't it? Yeah. Second long for the Bruins. Quarterback takes it. He's dangerous. Um, no, that's good for the right thing. Good way to see him up there. Colton Greg, Colton, Colton Gregory over there on the tackle. He's just Mr. Outside, isn't he? Yeah, he just he did his job right there, turning him in. Bison came over and helped him clean it up. So we got third and six, third and seven for the Bruins. They look over to get. They'll do the this. Play. They'll do this all night long, guys. Yep. I'm trying to get you to jump off sides. So Put to the right and left. Quarterback Spears rolls to his left. He takes it. He's looking to cut it back up in. Uh, Got the first down. Jackson Mock and uh, Bryson Kelly both on the stop for the Tornadoes. This is exactly what we talked about. Co Coach and I talked about on Wednesday was getting him, not letting him get outside. We've got to keep him inside the pocket. 
He got outside there and he hurt us there for the first down. Yeah, that's uh, contain, contain, contain. So here we go, first and ten for the Bruins. They're looking over there again. Uh, I don't know. Um, on def defense, the Bruins seem to be hitting people low because that's probably just a good job of coaching, right, Gene? Yeah, well, size matters too. So, uh, handoff right. goes to the running back. He picks up a good good yards up the middle on us. Uh, on the stop was uh, Willing, number 69, and uh, Jackson Mock. He he got about six yards, and he got five of them without anybody getting near him. So right, we got we got to do a better job of clogging that up in the middle. Bruins was a second and long three. The quarterback's looking for running room. Oh, they got him contained by, right there. That's, that's a great job by, by our tornado defense right there. Owen Gray, uh, Chase Flowers. All, all, all of them over there making the, you know, putting him in that pocket and not letting him get loose. That's, that's a great play by the defense. Okay, brings up third and short for the Bruins. They've got twins, twins out to the right. They like to throw that little screen, little screen to the wide receiver on this. Spears rolls to his left. At a baby. Looking for running gotta room. He's tackle. got sidelines. And it's good containment by the defense. I know, you know, you don't want any yards gained, but uh, on a play like that, this guy, uh, Spears, their quarterback, he's capable of taking it all the way. Gene? It's going to be it's gonna be awful close. They're going to bring it over here to the sideline and probably measure this thing. Yeah, they're going to bring over the chains here and measure. I know I mentioned earlier before the game started that I, I got a phone call from alumni, uh, Tony Ishmael and Kelly Klaus. Um, Tony Ishmael had to work with me at William, uh, what was Hutchinson's Grocery. And uh, I say had to because he didn't have that option. But we had a great time there and, and uh, just good hearing from alumni. Of course, Kelly was gracious, gracious enough to help me with put the electricity uh, do the, with his company, uh, Klaus Electric, put the electric in at my house. So I appreciate appreciate them guys listening tonight. They've already gave me feedback. <laughs> did we get the first down on that? They did. Okay. They did. Is that Mullins in the backfield with Spears, Jim? No, no, that's 13, Brazil. Mullins out there behind PB House out there on the Twins formation. Spears looking for running room. Oh, he's blocking the back right back. there. And there's Chavez to hurt him up. Yeah, they missed one right there. Uh, Blowers was ready to make the tackle, and he got shoved right from behind. It's a good job by rest of the team covering for him there, but he was going to make the play in the backfield. Right, and that and that's what we talk about, the defense staying at home, right? Yeah, absolutely. And that's the importance of it, because if Chavez would have been suckered into going over to the left side of the field, there would have been nobody there. So here we go, second long for the Bruins. Tornado's showing a two-man defensive front. Um, Get him, Jackson. Oh, he's open, dadgummit. Wide open right there. Got behind us, and that's what we talked about in pregame is keeping, trying to keep them in front of you. This is where the Bruins uh, are really dangerous. Um, they have skill wide receivers. and uh, That was Ryder Wingfield on that reception, Tony, for the touchdown. What number is he, Gene? Number eight. Okay. Are those numbers smaller than usual, or do uh, I need they, to they're they're the smaller, but the, the, the single digits are. <laughs> so they're going for two-point conversion here. Spears all day. Uh, now he's under a little pressure. Rolls to his right. Owen Gray. Oh. And no flag on the play. And wow. they say that it is good. Gene? Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on on that play. But they're, they're calling it good, so. We we don't have the luxury of a replay nope. here in the booth. Um, Looks like, we, you know, we got hit low there, Jackson. I think Jackson Bolton got hit low, and and uh, nothing was called there. But And the coach was down there about the 
their coach was down there about the 10-yard line. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how the co that coach's box, as far as I know, is the same length on both sides of the field. Yeah, 25-yard so, line as far as you can go. But. Yep. And then, Jackson, uh, tell them about that rule, Gene, why, why that's not allowed. What, what's that? Which one? After 30-some-odd years of uh, officiating on, on Bolton, that hit on Bolton. Oh, yeah. It's a safety thing. I mean, that's why they've done away with blocking below the waist for years. You just can't do it because you can get a kid hurt real quick. Well, we knew it was going to be a tight game, and we probably knew it was going to be a fourth-quarter game, so we're just going to have to scrap it up and make an answer here, Tom. Is that number nine kicking off for the Bruins? Yep. McKay. Uh, Bryson Kelly takes it. Uh, has a little trouble receiving the kick, but we're going to take the ball on the on the 30-yard uh, line. Yep. I believe our viewers at home, can, they do have the capability of rewind, right? <laughs> Just like watching anything on TV or yeah, if it, so. even on there's Yeah, so. You got that luxury. We're glad for you guys. But you know, I, I've i been watching this team all year long, and the body language seems a little different. We're going to have to change it around here. Yeah, we got twins right. First and ten for the Tornadoes. Kelly takes a snap from Bolton, throws it out the flat. Right Cole there. Gregory, Cole oh, Gregory, got some running room. Drug down from the back by, I believe, um, Brazil. Brazil. And then we're down. He got it to the 48 for a first down, Tony. Great play, great block by Jonathan Chavez to free him, and Cole did the rest. Um, great play by the coach there, calling that. Uh, 548 left to go. Tornadoes with the first and 10. Bryson Kelly takes it to the middle, breaks tackles. Man, he is just a highlight reel. There's a flag that's going to be a face mask, right, Gene? Yeah, it's going to be on the hope, uh, helmet opening. We're going to get 15 tacked onto that. So that's going to give us a first down deep into uh, Caddo territory. <laughs> Oh, they're going to give him a five-yard penalty, but anyway, it's still going to result in the first down, Tony. I, uh, so we got 537, clock's ticking, tornado driving, trips, trips to the right, Kelly empty backfield. Bryson looks to the sidelines. Takes a snap from Bolton, goes to oh, his he, right. It's wide open. BK Warren down the sideline. He breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Tornadoes. That's a great formation there. We spread them out, get them all on the left side there, and Bryson gets a block from, from uh, Chase Bowers, and he in for the touchdown. Great play call. It was one-on-one -on -one for a minute. Spears and Kelly, and Kelly comes out on top, right? Yeah, I like our, I like our chances on that. Yeah, when you got the uh, coach talk to us on Tuesday about that, uh, sending trips out uh, one direction, uh, opening that field up. Well, they'll see it on film now, so <laughs> they'll see it on film for sure. Is that, yeah, that's Jackson Mark in the backfield. Chavez out to the split out to the right. Kelly takes it right up the middle. Untouched. Did a little hurdle. 5-15. Tornado 16. Bruins 8. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Scoreville. The goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. 
delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years, has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt. All right, we're back. The tornado's about to kick off the Caddo here. Conrad Reed with the, doing the kicking. Oh! Uh, that's a false start. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what went down there, do you, Gene? Uh, no, but uh, I'm sure it wasn't <laughs> what we were expecting. Uh, it was, uh, I don't know. The ball, he thought the ball was moving? or I don't know, but it cost us five here. There's absolutely no win. Um. <laughs> Just a coaching moment, right? Yeah, absolutely. Got a chance to do a teaching moment, and, and we'll see what happens here on this one. I don't know if it was a design trick play or whatever, but it didn't work, T-Bone. Yeah, I, I don't know. It. <laughs> it's one of them things that make you go, huh. Let's try it again. Okay, there it is. Little line driver shooting over there. Right, Wingfield picks it up. He's going to get inside tornado territory about the, what, the 48-yard line? Yeah, he showed a little burst, didn't he? Oh, uh, correction, I think they he stepped out of bounds back here at the 43 <coughs> of their their own 43, so that's good. Well, you know how optimistic I am. I always thought he stepped out of bounds. I'm always optimistic for the tornadoes. So, um, first and 10 for the Bruins. They got twins out to the left, single to the right, Spears. There goes the flag. Ja uh, Tanner got a little excited there and got in the <laughs> neutral zone. Watch the ball. Did he line up that way? I didn't. No, he, he jumped in. Okay. Same formation for the Bruins. Quarterback run. Quarterback takes it to the right. He gets to the first down. He got about 10 yards on that. I got Jackson Mock, Bryson Kelly. Owen Gray in on the play for the tornado. Five five oh three left to go in the quarter. Tornado show a two man front, maybe a blitz up the middle. Oh well, he's going deep. Spears looks looks deep. Now he gets gets some running room off to the right side, picks up enough for a first down for the Bruins. That kid, can, <clears throat> that kid can hurt you, boy. If you get it on the outside there, it's, you know. I think we did a good job of keeping him in, but nobody was there to, to tackle him before he got 12, 13 yards. Uh, that, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody has stopped Spears this year, but they they managed to contain him enough that they walk, they got the victory against Dewar. And so okay. there's a pass out in the flats, complete. Uh, Chavez says, no, nope, you're not getting another yard on this one. And um, that's a good that's a good play call by Caddo. Got it out on the edge. They're running back out on the edge there. Second and four for the Bruins. Four thirty-three left to go in the quarter. Twins to the right, single to the left. Spears ready to take snap. Goes right up the middle. Um, he's seen something he liked there. And uh, on the play for the Tornadoes, number 56, Owen Gray. That, that Spears is, looks a whole lot like 
not, he looks like Bison Kelly running a football. Yeah, but he's not as big, but no. they're they're doing the same thing to us as what we do to them. So running that quarterback up the middle. Also, uh, Chase Creek more in on the stop. Bruins take the snap, handoff to no fake the handoff. Quarterback keeper Spears off to the left, and that's a touchdown. No flags on the field. They've pretty much had, you know, look like us. They've had their way with our defense. So, you know, I think whoever makes the first adjustment may yeah. have the advantage here. When they're on offense, it's almost like looking in the mirror, isn't it? Yeah. 4.02. Bruns are going to line up for the two-point. Yeah, well, there's a confusion back there. Spears gets loose. And he's really an athletic uh, young man, as we told you before. But the tornado stopped them from, from having success on the two-point conversion. Uh, Creekmore, 48, uh, caught him as he tried to reverse his field. Gene? Yeah, with four minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter, your tornadoes are ahead, 16-14. We'll take a quick break, and we'll uh, come back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Diesel Horse at Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Diesel Horse works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-7. Uh, we're back here at Riddle Field with your Tornadoes leading 16-14. McKay to do the kicking for a Caddo. Bryce and Kelly back deep, Tom. Going straight out of bounds there to 30. We should be getting good field position about the 40 yard line on this, Tony. Start the series. Yeah. Um, and like I said, you see anything offensively, Gene, that. I think we're fine on the offensive side of the ball. We just need to make some adjustments on defense. What yeah, do you think? I agree. I mean, we're, we're moving the ball. We've scored both times we've had the football, so we just need to continue to do that and then and make a few stops. You know how eight-man football is. It could be 60 to 60 before you know it. We've got a uh, wide receiver to the right. Uh, Bryson Kelly takes a snap from Bolton, hands off to, uh, I believe that was Mock, wasn't it? It was. Jackson Mock. On the carry for, I don't know, maybe maybe two, yep. one. Yep, a yard and a half. <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> 220, 221, whatever it takes. 344. Left to go in the quarter. Kato's doing a good job of tackling. I mean, they, they have not, we've not got, well, of course, Bryce has got loose a couple times, but. Kelly takes a snap, throws it out in the flash to Chavez. I think we got back to the original line of scrimmage. The pass was low, and he had to go down and gather it. Right. Mullins out there on the coverage for the I think if he, if he could have got that, he could have got some positive yardage. I think there was an opening there. We just didn't get any of the ball. So we're right where we don't want to be, about third and eight. Yeah. Um, here comes... Uh, Chase Blyers out of the game for the Tornadoes. Going to give him a breather. They break the huddle. We got Gooch and Chavez out to the uh, right. And we, we've got Twins out to the left as well. Caddo's going to take a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back. You listen to Tornadoes football on Squirtle. 726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. 
These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. experts at versatile networks a call in most cases we can provide a phone system with brand <laughs> all right tony third and eight 244 left to go in the half uh kelly takes a snap goes up the middle got a little runner room very little probably game about three gene yeah it's going to bring up about fourth and six <laughs> Let's see what coach wants to do here. I mean, usually in the past here, we've either done the quick kick or the went for it, but <clears throat> the way our defense is, yeah, it looks like he's going to be in punt formation. Right. Well, it might be a little opening to the right, but I don't know if he wants to do that or not. But you see how they're set up? Yeah, you know, Chase is going to have to be hard to come out here and get a block on that. Right. Good punt. Come on, stay in bounds. Oh. It's like my pitching wedge. It never rolls the way you want it to. I think it went out about the 35-yard line. First uh -huh. No, well, he's walking up 36-yard line. Okay. We only flipped the field, what, 10 yards? Right. 11 yards on right. that? Right. Yeah. Make them, go, make them go the distance. So I, I understand that point, but we had not stopped them yet. Let's see what happens here. First punt of the night by the Tornadoes. We're going with a, a three-man front with uh, Jackson Mock playing linebacker. Looks like he may blitz. Bruins with a first and ten. Twins to the right, single to the left. Option play. Wants the option. There he goes. Pitches it to the running back. Jack, uh, Kevin Gooch, number 28, out there to make a stop for the Tornadoes. But not before they pick up first and ten, G. Yeah, I think Caddo's found something they like over here on this left side and uh, using it to their advantage. That's a good play. Quarterback kept it as long as he could and then pitched it out to the running back. There wasn't anybody out there to take him. Now you're seeing the tornado set up in a, in a two-man uh, down, down line. First and ten, he looks to throw. Now he takes off. And looks like Blower's doing a great job. Easy, easy, him. easy, easy. There you go. Chase did a good job running with him. That kid's pretty darn fast, so he did a good job of running him out of bounds and limiting him to one yard. Pretty, pretty fast, that's for sure. So, let's say uh, he's pretty fast north and south, but you can only run so far east and west. Yeah. And then eight-man field, if you didn't know, it's a little shorter than the regular, right, Gene? A little thinner for sure. Yep. So here we go. They got second down. Uh, Spears looks over to the side again. We got Bryson over here on press coverage. We got twins to the left. Spears looks right. That ball hit the ground, didn't it? Uh, that's oh. a bouncer. Did they give? Did they call that a catch? Yeah. No, we that's got, a bouncer. This is a good call by this uh, line judge over here. He's coming running over He's here, in. telling him it hit the ground. Yeah. Yeah. He had a better view of it, I think, than the uh, headlinesman. Right. Good job by him. A lot of people don't do that. He did a good job. Third down and nine, Tony. That's, like a, that's a good break. That's our kind of party right there. So they still, they're going to come out with uh, twins to the right, or twins to the left and single to the right. Spears, look for Spears to have an option to run here. Um, yeah, he's looking at that and saying, man, I, that wide open middle, but we've been closing it up here. There he goes, looking right. Screen, right, screen, screen. Screen pass. Oh, uh, good stop right there by Bryson. the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly, number one on the play. That's going to bring up a fourth and two for them at the Tornado 44-yard uh, line. A little over two, Tony. It's going to be two and a half here for the first down. 
Come on, guys, let's get a stop hope that, here. Hope that half yard comes into play. Here we go. Twins to the left, single to the right. Spears takes a snap, goes right up the middle. Yeah, he's got it by about three yards there. Yeah. No doubt what yeah. he was going to do from the beginning. You know and they're uh, going to put that ball in their best player's hands. Tanner. I think, I think we're the only ones up here not limping. I think everybody on our <laughs> team's limping down there. Yeah. Um, Jackson's limping. Colton. Colt. Or uh, 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 Gooch Jack is limping. Jackson Bolton. Tanner, Tanner, Tanner Willing. Willing. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's stiffen up right here, Tornadoes. He rides the halfback, hands it off up the middle. Way too many yards. Way too many yard gain. Had a trap play there. And they found eight yards there waiting for them. So they're they're going a little bit. They're speeding up, speeding up, and up. They just they do that no huddle. Twins to the right, single to the right. Uh, Left, there he goes down the field. He's letting it rip. Got a man open. He got it. That's a touchdown. Can they do that now? That's a flag, right? Yep, just got a flag. He, he cannot do that in high school football, can you, Gene? No. You talking about the celebration? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The touchdown's going to count, but they're going to probably get that on the kickoff or the extra point. I'd take it on the extra point. Well, there you go. That's, I mean, Spears, he's athletic. He threw it up there, and his receiver just come down with it. The touchdown stands. It's a big ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against the Bruins. Now, Tornado fans think that might negate the touchdown, but it's not going to. No. That's a dead ball foul. So the touchdown's good. He's going to move him back for the two-point conversion, which I think is a very smart thing by coach there. When I watch the Bruins against um, the Dragons, I'd say their offensive line play has improved. A little untimed down here for the extra point. He's got all day. Spears drops back, completes the pass. Just keep him out of the end zone. There you go. There's a good job right there. Open field tackle by Jonathan Chavez, number 81 for the Tornadoes. <clears throat> That'll bring up the end of the first quarter, Tony, with Bruins leading the Tornadoes 20 to 16. We'll be back with the start of the second quarter. You're listening to Tornadoes football on Scordo. New phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We can't. All right, we're back here for second quarter action. I got some scores of interest around Class B. Uh, Velma Alma 22, Garber 8 in the second. O'Keen 16, Laverne 14 in the second. Southwest Covenant 12, OBA 8 in the second. Hmm. Kyoto 16, Yale 8 in the second. Number one ceiling 20, Turpin nothing in the second. And Dewar 20, Region Prep 15 in the second quarter. Yeah. You got me on the Yale game so far. I'm. I thought Yell could pull that one off. Okay. They still got a chance. Okay, going to kick it deep here. Yep. Yep. Going to kick it to Bryson. Right there. Oh, come on, Bryson. Pick it up there. Good hands. Oh, he's got he's, a chance. He's got an opening right there. BK1 going down the sideline. 40, 30, oh, he is 20. 
He's going to touchdown town right there. BK1, Bryson Kelly. I'll tell you what, that kid is so athletic. And he, I mean, you would not think he'd be able to run that kid that had the angle. He just outrun that kid like nobody's business. That's an answer, Tony. That'll get you some momentum back. Right. And that uh, his vision, his his ability to keep us cool, uh, first things first, uh, pick the ball up, check out where everybody is, and then cut it cut it like he did. I'll tell you what, he's, he's got many gifts. Yeah, he, I mean, he's just a good athlete altogether. Oh, we got a trick play here where we're going to give it to Jackson Bolton. <laughs> right, listen, I, I, I may be shocked and Jamie may have to take over if that takes place. Right. In this playoff game. Because every point is precious. Yep. Chavez split out to the left. Get it off. Bison takes a snap from J Jackson Bolton up the middle with uh, Jackson Mock, number five. There's a scrubble. They say he didn't get in, I bet. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Said the Bruins held them. Well, game of inches. Uh, football's a game of inches. So that's going. Our tornadoes are taking the lead, retaking the lead, 22-20. Tony, we'll leave it here with 11:49 left in the before halftime. This is going to be a battle. I knew it was going to be a battle, and uh, we're just going to have to keep keep uh, grinding away. Yeah, I think um, if it's a close game going in the half halftime, though, my bet's on uh, coaching adjustments, and 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 I think that uh, the Tornadoes can definitely pull this out. Hey, uh, we got a long way to go. We It's a marathon on a sprint there, big dog. I think we're going to be fine. You know Oh, I do too. That's why I say, I mean, he, I think our coaching staff will be able to figure this out, maybe on the fly, maybe before halftime. We've seen that happen before. Um, it's been a long time since uh, the, our tornadoes have been tested. And so. Well, you, you expected this because, you know, the further you get in these playoffs, the better the teams are. And uh, you're going to have to play your best to advance. So. Right, and, uh, you know, if you look back on it, and some of these guys have, have only played eight games out of the games that we played because they've been out, because we've pulled them, because we've been, our lead's been so much. So um, I think they practiced hard. I think they're ready for it. So that's a kick right there, taken at the 30. Number eight, Wingfield. <clears throat> that's a great tackle right there. That was Jagger Willing came over and put it. Put, put the lick on him there, Tom. Yeah, 14, Jagger Willing. And I'll tell you what, he's really showed himself on special teams this year. He likes the, he likes the contact. <laughs> he does. Let's go! I like I like him fired up a little bit. Maybe he can get rub that off on the rest of the guys. We need to get a little pumped up here. We just got to okay. keep these guys from getting behind us here. Tornado show a two-man front. Option play. Option out to the right. Be Jackson Mark. There we go. Owen Gray wasn't going to be full this time. Had the quarterback and the running back wrapped up on that play. Good job of those two tornadoes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? And they did not get fooled. Uh, they got a second down. They're going to try to go fast this time. Uh, second 11. No, they're going to. No, here we go. They're when am I going to learn? They probably will before the night's over maybe, but. Tornadoes with two-man front. They hand the ball off, off the middle to the running back. Uh, Jackson Mock is in on the play along with Jackson Bolton. We got a, we got a lot of hitting going on, but we don't have a whole lot of wrapping up going on. Right. <laughs> got to make sure we wrap up. Good job of Jackson there wrapping up on that, though, getting him down. A couple of tornadoes got a good lick on him. Bruins with a third down, third and eight. Spears takes a snap, looks to his, his left, pass is complete. Immediately brought down after the reception on the play for the Tornadoes. Number 81, Jonathan Chavez. So We, got, we gave him about a 10-yard cushion, and they threw it about eight yards, and then he obviously got the first down. But 
I don't know. We may have to sneak up a little bit here. Wingfield. I know it's tough on them, Tony, because they've been burnt a couple times. Wingfield was on the reception, wasn't he, number eight? Yep. So they got twins out to the right. Wingfield over there on the left, handoff to the running back, and he's met pretty quickly. Uh, great, good tackle there by uh, Chase Blowers. Yeah, he got off the block and uh, made the tackle. Two yard, three yard gain for Caddo. The way they spread the spread you out, Tony, puts a lot of pressure on your your uh, O line and uh, or D line and your linebacker. Right, and that. That's one thing I guess they really like to do. And they sling the ball out to the flats here. Um, good tackle by the Tornadoes out there in the open field. Bryson uh, Kelly came up and took uh, took on a blocker, and then Cole Cole made the tackle. <laughs> it was good enough for a first down. Yeah, they're gonna. Like you said, Gene, they're going to try to spread the field out a little bit on us. They got twins to the right, uh, single to the left. Spears takes snaps. He's looking left. He pump fakes. Pump and go. And lets it rip. No, we're right there with him, and no flag. Kevin kind of was backpedaling there and tripped over his feet there, and, or he'd had a chance to maybe make that interception. Yeah, the ball now, fell. now now Kevin kind of come up with a limp there, but he's walked he's walked it off already. Good deal. Yeah, he's he's had that since that opening run there in the first quarter. He's been um, kind of gimpy. You're right, Gene. That he had a chance for an interception there, and I think he the man in the the man in the grass got him. So 9-13, Tornadoes 22, Bruins 20. Bruins with a second and 10. Take a timeout. Caddo's going to take a timeout. So we'll take it with them. We'll be back. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Here, we'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field, second down and 10 for Caddo. Caddo with twins to the left, single to the right. Spears takes a snap, goes up the middle. All right, gain of about, what, six, seven? Jackson Mock on the stop. Yeah, he, I think he got it almost eight, Tony, so. That O-line of uh, Caddo's doing a good job on our up front. Third and three, quarterbacks trying to look for there some room. They back close out of the door on him. Uh, Jackson Mock, Owen Gray on the play for the Tornadoes. It's going to bring a fourth down and short, Tony. Now they've got twins to the right, single to the, or twins to the left, single to the right. I don't think it matters. They're going to give it to that quarterback. Yep. That's just a way to get the numbers out of the box, right? Yep. So there he goes. he got enough for the first. Uh, Kevin Gooch, number 28. Tornado on the play. Now I got to give it up to uh, Bruins offensive line too, man. They, they physically look like they ought to be getting out, man. Yeah, but they're only blocking two people. They got right. three on two up there. Right. But... Here we go. Hand off up the middle. 
when you do that two-man front, that 57's got a chance to get out there to the second level, and that's what he's done. He went out there and blocking our linebacker. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be spying on that quarterback. Everything they do is through number one here, so. Single to the right, trips to the left. Spears takes a snap, looks, throws across left side on the slant. Brought down immediately. That's by Kevin Gooch on the tackle there. Bring up third and five for them for Cato. Close enough. This is a big this is a big play, Tony. We 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 need to stop him right here and make fourth and long for him. Right. Trips to the trips to the left, single to the right. I I think we're just gonna see spears right and left from here on in. I don't know. They might throw it, but I don't, I mean they've had success going right up the middle. Yep. Spears looks to his right. He got him. Good Which coverage out there by, on uh, by the tornadoes. Uh just great coverage out there by Cole Gregory. He was on him. He was on him like like he needed to be because that that pass was right on the money, Tony. That was really well thrown. Going to be up fourth and five. This is where his receiver could get it, and nobody else. So uh, there they go. They're going to spread the field out again. Fourth and fourth and five. I'd be surprised if he don't run the ball up the middle here. We've got showed three down linemen. Now we're. Moving around on the, on the defensive line. He's looking for, he pitches it. Ball's on the ground. That should be a forward it. pass, shouldn't it? Either way, we're going to take over, Tommy. That's a good yeah. job by our defense. Cole Gregory out there, uh, Bryson Kelly, and uh, Kevin Gooch. I hate to bring this analogy into it, but it looked like a little OSU defense, you know. Bend it don't break. <laughs> Get them all the way, go go 80 yards and stop mm. them at the five. Mm. So, well, I'm ready for uh, the Express to take off. I'm ready for a one play drive. Uh, We're going to spread them out a little bit here, Tom. Here we go. Trips to the right. Oh, this, if he gets to the left here, this play's wide open. Yeah, Bryson Kelly takes a step and boom, there he goes. He took off. What in the world? Timeout by. Good job by uh, Cato recognizing what we had and taking a timeout. So we'll take it with them. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinate. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. A couple of scores here. Regent Prep 29, Dewar 20 in the second. Uh, Southwest Covenant trailing now, OBA 14 to 12. And another game of interest is 22 to 8, Kyoto over Yale. Tony, there's a big stop by our defense here. Let's, let's see if our offense can can uh, make it make it hurt. Yeah, I hope we they set up with uh, twins to the right. Kelly takes it off to the left. Now he cuts it back inside. Great great effort by Bryson Kelly and the Tornadoes. You know, Bryson's pumped up and he, he should be. He uh, recognized how these guys are going low and he's just stepping over the top of them. They're going to try to go at his ankles and he's just going to go over the top of them. Good job by Bryson Kelly there. Overcome and conquer. Hey, first and 10 for the Tornadoes. We're sending trips out to the right. Uh, Bryson Kelly empty backfield. Got a little movement up there. They seen it. That'll be five, Gene. We'll take it. Uh, 57 for the Bruins. What, he wanted to get off a little quick. Phillips uh, on that left side. and uh, So we'll take the five. It'll be first and five. Haven't had a lot of penalties by either team tonight, which means playoff action, so that's always good. Uh, 
5.58 left to go in the half. Tornadoes break the huddle. Trips to the right. Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. Looks. Goes off to his right. Breaks a tackle. Still on his feet. Oh, man. Gene, what do you think? Yeah, he's over. I think he's got the first down. They're by moving him. him. They're moving him. <laughs> first and ten. Tornadoes right there. Everything we talk about with uh, our backfield and, and, and Bryson Kelly uh, on that run, um, we have hard runners. We have runners with good vision, and uh, they've just shown it time and time again all year. Yeah, and I think that Bryson's the healthiest one out there right now, too. Uh-huh. So. so, got twins to the left. Bryson takes a snap. Throws it out there to Chavez. Chavez looking for running room. Again, there's one of them low hits. And man, when you hit, we're a pretty good sized team, and, and that's the place to take us down right there. Yeah, they're gonna, they know that, you know, they're well coached in that area. Yeah, when you're a smaller player, you you can't get up high with him. <clears throat> not going to end well for you no. if you do. But if you get low like that, it may not end up well for the ball carrier. And you can see we're all limping because of it. So, Tornado's twins to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it up the middle, oh. breaks a couple of tackles, finally get him down. Um, he, he's got the first down, Tony. I thought he was going to get more there. Uh huh. Yeah, he picked up enough for Tornado first down. And uh, you're right. He was just he was just a step away from. <coughs> From taking it to the house on them. So, tornadoes with the first and 10, 504 left in the half. Tornadoes on the drive. Tornadoes up 22 to 20 over the Bruns. Trips to the right. Uh, empty backfield. Bryson Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. Bolton. There he breaks a tackle. Uh, brought down. Uh, maybe two yard gain, Gene. Yeah, I mean, that they played it well that time. Usually they run that other player to the other side, but he was stayed home this time, and, and Bryson didn't have a whole lot to get right there. Wasn't much of his teammates over there to help him. Easy for me to say. <laughs> so second and eight with 422. Clock still ticking. Hmm. Ten seconds on the play clock. Tornadoes go trips right. Empty backfield. Kelly takes snap. Looks. Goes off to his right. Here we go. Oh, he's Here we go. Number one. He came on. That express him. train is going down the tracks. Number one. They did a good job. One on one there. Spears had the angle and Bryson just couldn't get around him that time. And but we're gonna have a first and goal. That's right. That, that's how explosive he, he is. He just needs a crease. He doesn't need a, a hole you can drive a truck through. He just needs a little crack, and he'll do the rest. Yeah, I don't think any other player that they had out there would have caught him right there. It had to be Spears. So, Right. Chase Byers brings the play in for the Tornadoes with the first 10, 440, or 339 left to go in the half. Tornadoes knocking on the door. Chavez split to the left. Yeah, we're, we're going to catch a timeout here, Tony. All right, we'll take a break. We'll, no, I think we're going to have a timeout, aren't we? They're sick well, to delay a game, so. We're marking it off. Yeah, so I guess we're not going to. I find that kind of hard to believe that that was. The legal substitution. Okay, I knew. Delay a game. That was. We've got 315 left. Tornadoes with the first and 15. First and goal at the 15. Right. We've got a score, don't we? Yeah, that's right. Chavez to the left. Handoff up the middle. Oh, Good run feet. by Jackson Mock. Number Jackson. five. He got a little extra curricular there in the end zone, but yep. didn't call it. Oh, they're calling a holding penalty against this Tony, so it's coming back. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even see a flag down. Did you? Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, I did. I uh, hated to say it. <laughs> three, on, three on one left. Uh, tornadoes get called for a hold. Jackson mock speed. That might be why it got got loose so so well up the middle, right? Yeah, I mean, could have been, but I'm sure that uh, we'll learn from that. It's going to make it hard. You don't see many first and goals from the 25-yard line. <laughs> no, no, no. So not got, you mentioned it. We got no. four plays to get this thing in the end zone. Got 10 on the play clock. Trips to the left. Jackson, uh, Bryson takes it off to the left, cuts it back up inside, and he's brought down. He had a little uh, cutback lane there, Tony, but it closed pretty quick. I had a little opening there. Yeah, and uh, I'm with you on that. I, I thought he was going. I thought he was going to be more than it was. So 241 uh, left to go in the half. Tornadoes up 22 over the Bruins. 22 to 20. We kind of put ourselves in a bind here because we, we don't we don't kick the ball, so we're going to have to try to score. Yeah, Cole Gregory, number seven. He, coach saw the play clock, winded down, took the timeout. So we'll take it with him this time. You're listening to Tornado's Football on Scordo. An approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma. All right, we're back here at Riddlefield. The Tornado's got second and goal from the 20-yard line of Caddo. Twins to the right. Kelly takes a snap, looks to throw. Drops back, got plenty of time. Zipped uh, it in there to Jonathan Surehand Chavez. Uh, that was a perfect throw. Woo! The catch, great protection. Good play call. Everything you can say good about it, it happened, Tony. Yeah, uh, Line did a great job giving um, Bison time to look it open. And it's hard to cover someone that long, isn't it? No, it's, it's uh, real hard. He broke, uh, Jonathan broke loose, and and uh, Bison put a bullet on the numbers down there. Right between the eight and the one. So, great, great play. With 2.12 left to go in the half. Kelly takes the snap, looks, goes right up the middle. Okay. <laughs> One guy made a business decision said, I'm out of here. <laughs> He's not like, worth that three yards, is it, Tony? It looked like a bullfighter with a... <laughs> olé, olé. Olé. <laughs> he, <laughs> He's like, go right ahead. <laughs> he opened the door for him, didn't he? Oh, man. He's like, man, I'm not today. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> all, right, all right, I got some scores here, Tony, of interest. Uh Regent Prep and Dewar. Dewar taking the lead again, 34-29. Let's go, Regent. Come on. Yale and Kyoto. Kyoto 22, Yale 16. OBA has come back and taken the lead over Southwest Covenant, 14 to 12. And uh, Velma Alma 30, Garber 14 in the second. Also, uh, O'Keen 24, Laverne 22. A little, mm. little surprise mm. there, but yeah. Hey, it's playoff time. You never know what's going to happen here. But more importantly, your tornadoes here have got a 30 to 20 lead here. And we're going to kick off. How much time we got before halftime? 212. All right, we got to play defense here for 212 here. We, I, I think it's very important that we if we can go into halftime uh, and hold them out 
it's really important because they get the ball to start the second half. So yeah. we don't need them to score and then have the ball to start the half. So it's a big, big two minutes. Big. Yeah, they are out of timeout. So something else you'll notice on our kickoff, we I haven't said anything about it, but I, I, I was watching it. We got a bunch of starters out there playing on the kickoff team too. So, you know, <clears throat> I think you got it, all the seniors except for Gavin and Gavin Brimmer and uh, Jagger Willing. Of course, Conrad Reed, the kicker. So, Yeah, I mean, and you, you know, I mean, uh, as great players as they are, Willing and, and, and Bolton's not going to get down the field. Get, be able to get down the field in time, right? Yeah. Uh, you got, but Jagger does a great job, like we said, on kickoffs, and so does. There it is. He, I was hoping he. He get, filled it in on the run, yeah. and man, that was a good takedown by the tornadoes right there. With the uh, guess who? Guess who? Hey, Jagger Willing. That, he might not be the biggest dog out there, but he's got a big bite. Doesn't it he? ain't the size of the dog in the fight; it's the fight in the dog, baby. Woo. Yeah, he took that Bruin. He took on that bear. 207 left to go for the half. Caddo's going to take over at their own 48. Tornado's showing a three-man uh, front on defense. They have a receiver split right and left. He rolls to his right. He's going to throw it. Throw. Yeah, it. Nobody there. Nobody home. Uh, he, he did a good job of selling that. I, yeah. think, I think I was the only one, and then Cole was catching up there, so he couldn't get it there. He, he was throwing it on a run. It was short about 20 yards, wasn't it? 10 or yeah. yards? Yeah, but I'll tell you what, we, we, in that Dewar game, we seen him rolling out like that, heave it up, and hit him right in the numbers. Yeah. I mean, he, he's a very athletic young man. So they've got a uh, receiver split to the right and left with 2.02 left to go in the half. I don't know whether. Um, Looks to throw, punch right. it. Down the seam. And again, he just, I don't know if that got deflected or. No, it didn't look like it. We what? did. We had a pretty good cover. We had him blanketed there. He would had made a perfect pass there down the seam. But third down and 10 here. If we hold him, we might be able to get the ball back. Right. With 157 left to go before the half. Uh, play clock 22, 20. So they got plenty of time on Do the play clock. Do we have any timeouts left, Tony? We got two timeouts. We left, have so. two. Uh, they got uh, twins to the left, uh, receiver one to the right. Uh, Spears takes a snap. He's definitely looking Screen to throw. Comes back. I don't know why we didn't keep after him, but uh, no, because they were running the screen, Tony. That's a good play. Intercepted. Oh, there we go. Play Cole. Right there. Cole Gregory comes up big time on a diving interception. Gene. Yeah, it's great pressure. We kept kept pushing and. Pushing in the uh, D line. There's a flag down the flag, here. I don't know what it is. Flag down. Uh, I, if I was to guess a man where that flag is at, I'd say that it was probably holding on them or pushing the back. And, let, and there was a receiver downfield, so we'll decline that. Okay. Take I, the ball. I guessed it two of them, and I was wrong on both. Okay. Oh, well, you figured that linemen were going to hold their water that long. They were going to be downfield. Yeah. Coach, Coach Williams telling the crowd, get it on up right here. This counts right here. 146 left to go before the half. Uh, Gene, I'm, I'm glad you said that was a screen because I was just looking at the quarterback. I didn't know why he dropped back like that, but uh, Owen Gray, but he did the right thing, right? Yeah, yeah. And once you know giving up, you know it's going to be a screen pass. So you got uh, Chavez in motion. There's the little uh, flip to him. And Chavez uh, does a good job breaking tackles. We got flag down, but Chavez is still rumbling. And a great effort by Jonathan Chavez, but we got a flag down in the backfield. Uh, they got uh, holding here. Uh, As they're calling that on Jackson. I didn't. I didn't see him grabbing anybody, but he could have. One thirty-nine left to go in the half. Tornado's up. Uh, Ten points over the Bruins. That's a great, to great play, Tony. It was just jet sweep. Jonathan did a lot of things on his own there and got 12, 13 yards. But unfortunately, it's going to bring up first and twenty on the holding play. Well, you know, tornadoes are not short on players with athletic ability this year. And uh, 
Jonathan is just one of one of those guys. I think we're going to put some time on the clock, Tony. I think he was running during the at least 15 seconds, right? So we got 145 left to go before the half. Clock's going to roll. He's motion motion for the clock to start again. Tornadoes come out of the huddle. Cole Gregory, Jonathan Chavez split out to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it, looks. Now he takes it to the left. Now he makes a move. Oh, that's There's not a flag, a down. flag. And he did not hold that guy. Gene? I'm not, I, I don't like it, but <clears throat> I, I think he did a good job of. It's going to be on Chase Blowers. I, I'm interested to see if he calls a hold or block in the back here. Let's see what he has. Or. Oh. It's a hold. <laughs> you know, I, I'd like to take back all the comments I made about not having many, many penalties. We've had about five holding calls here in the last 11 minutes. Yeah, and I don't. Do you agree with that? I don't know. I'm not down there calling, so I'm not. Going, I'm not going to give them grief. But I, angles are everything. Yeah, I'm looking at it from a different angle. I'm looking at it as a tornado fan now. I don't like it. <laughs> he may have been right, but I don't like it. 124 left on the clock for the tornadoes. We want to punch this one in. Twins to the right. Kelly takes a snap from Bolton. Looks. He's looking to his left. Rolls. Got plenty oh, of time. Don't He's going to beat this guy. He's going to take off. Very athletic move there. A little hurdle. Did he get out of bounds? No signal. He did. Yeah, now he signaled to stop the clock. 114 left to go in the half. Boston did a good down. job right there not throwing the ball. We had about four linemen downfield there. <laughs> yeah. Ineligible, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Tanner Willing comes in the game for the Tornadoes. So, Tornadoes with second and 17. 114 left to go on the clock. 15 on the play clock. Twins to the left. He takes a snap, breaks to his left. Now he cuts it back up in the middle of the field. Uh, it's going to be uh, probably uh, third, third and 11, Gene. Yeah, third and 11, and Drummond's going to take one of their timeouts. 104 left to go before the half. I, I'm, I'm going to say something, Tony. This has been a pretty physical game. We've got both teams, you know, with injured players limping and been pretty physical. Yeah, and if you, you know, uh, we got a man down. We'll take a break while they tend to him. Hope he's okay. We'll be back with Tornadoes football. You listen, and what's the score there, Tony? 30 to 20 still? 30 to 20, Tornadoes. All right, we got to love it. Yep. Is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. All right, we're back here. They're still tending to the Bruin uh, player there down. Uh, give a little shout out to the newly married Parker Woodward. It's her birthday today. Uh, her dad says that he's going to spank you when he gets home. So, uh, <laughs> congratulations to her and Seth for uh, their recent wedding. Boy, he hit the jackpot on a son-in-law, didn't he? Seth's an outstanding young man. I don't know if I can say the same thing about Seth. <laughs> hitting Seth it on a father-in-law. <laughs> well, I said they hit the jackpot with <laughs> Seth. I didn't, you know. Seth hit the jackpot on All right, some yeah. update scores here while we've got a, a chance. That's a win-win. Uh, Regent Prep is retaking the lead over Dewar, 37-34. Kyoto and Yale still 22-16 at the half. Ceiling 26, Turpin nothing at the half. Walika 30, Weber's Falls 12 at the half. 
O'Keen still leads Laverne 24-22 at the half. So, some interesting scores going on there, Tony. Yeah, I'm rooting for the Bulldogs. They're, they're in our district and in uh, region prep. And, you know, I was looking at it. I may be wrong, Gene. You can correct me if, I'm, if I am. But I think that uh, Tornadoes have played, so far uh, they have beaten four teams that are in the playoffs, right? Yeah, I think four or five, yeah. Yeah. That's number 57, oh, Charles Phillips. Good. Yeah, and he's, and he's been a big force for them in this game. Yes, he has. He's Off, played well. Offensive and defensively. Another another score may be interest around here is Perkins trying 55, Holland Hall nothing in the second. So Whoa, I, lot, I couldn't believe that score. Man. All right, we're about ready to resume here, Tona. We got a third and 11. Third and 11, 104 left to go before the half. Um, we're coming out with twins to the left. Let's see what we got in store for us. Come on, let's go. Bryson's got plenty of time. Now he's got a little rush. Uh, rolls out to his left, cuts it back up inside, and he's not going to get the first down, but he did pick up about four. Let's see if Coach runs that down as far as he can, take his last time out, and maybe punt this away. He's got 50, uh, 49 seconds left to go before the half. 27 on the play clock. Right. If you don't get it here, you give them prime field position, but, you know, maybe I, I tell you what, I, I tell you what's going to happen here. We're going to probably, probably try to draw them off sides. 26, take a 25 on the, on the game clock. Uh, twins to the left. Bryson Kelly takes the snap. No good. Quick kick. Punts it. Little that, quick kick. I don't think we got seven yards mm. on that. Man, no. That's going to give them good field position. It, it <sighs> may, it may be at the. Let's see. 16 He's still seconds. walking, still walking. Yeah. Holy cow, 40-yard line. He said it. I mean, I'm going to tell you something. I think that's a break for us. I think it went out way before that. Uh -oh. So, with a minute, little over a minute left, Tony? We got 16 seconds. Oh, 16 seconds. Well, I, <laughs> I, I wish I could see the clock where I'm sitting. I, I can't know. see anything but wood. The extreme disadvantage over there. So, play clock don't matter no more. 16 seconds on the clock. Tornado's rushing two. Nothing behind. Oh, that's here. a hold right there. Manny just dogged him. Now he threw him down again. Spears running. Uh, good run by Spears, but man, it should be coming back because I'll tell you what, he did everything. This isn't championship wrestling. And that and that lineman just Are you saying he holds on me? Or is that what you're saying? He did hell? No, he didn't hold him. He did every uh, wrestling move a, a guy could make, chicken wing and everything. I mean, and then he wasn't done with him. He kept uh, grabbed onto him and tried to throw him down. I mean, I moving on. Can't do that on offense, guys. <laughs> but okay, if you don't get, if it's not called, it's okay, I guess. They called it on us about five times. Yep. This was in the wide open. Six seconds left. Quarterback Spears looks to throw. He's got all kinds of time. He hauls off. Let's it go. Cole Gregory's got a chance at it, but nobody comes down with it. No time left on the clock. Tornadoes get into halftime uh, on top, 30 to 20 over the Bruins. All right, well, we'll see. We'll, we'll be back here in a little bit, talk about what some of the adjustments we probably need to make and, and see if we can get healthy. Uh, we'll be back with the second half. You're listening to Tornadoes Football on, T, on Squirtle. Huh. one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG.
KMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com.
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. high school streaming service scordle.tv find out more at scordle.com slash stream at maples nixon diesel horse we've helped a lot of people and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend and as a friend we've got your back always we understand what you're going through being lawyers is what we do but it's not all that we are we care We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today.
Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. 
delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years, has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. You're listening to Drum Mike Tornadoes TV on Squirtle. Tornadoes are leading Caddo 30 to 20 at halftime. Um, we're going to have the mandatory three-minute warm-up period, and then we'll be ready for some second-half football. Our tornadoes are out here warming up. It kind of took took a little bit in the halftime there to work on some injuries that we'd have. Jackson Bolton's his knee or ankles looking like it's bothering him. You know, and Kevin Gooch looks like his ankle's bothering him. So we got some wounded warriors out there for the second half, Tony. Yeah, we also got Tanner Willing who's been fighting through a little bit of injury uh, there for a while. And uh, uh, listen, let me tell you something. Uh, from here on out, um, it's going to be the, it's going to be a war every week. Um, you're going to have to get ready because uh, it's not going to get any easier. Our defensive line, we got to find a way somehow to get that middle. Showed up, G. Yeah, I mean, we, we're going to have to bottle that quarterback up. He's been he's been pretty loose on us the whole half. So hopefully we've made some adjustments at halftime and uh, maybe bottle he, him up a little. And he's an athlete. He's very athletic. He, it's going to be hard to bottle, keep him bottled up. But the thing that concerns me a lot is the time that he has when he drops back, and then the, his ability to gash us up the middle. Yeah, when he if he's one on one with one of our players, I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty tough on whoever's trying to get him down because he's pretty elusive. All this being said, we do have a ten point lead, and uh, they have not yet really. I'm um, what two, three times uh, stop our offense, Gene. Yeah, well, usually we stopped ourselves on that last drive. Yeah, we did everything we could to uh, penalty wise to. Ensure that wasn't successful. So, you know, we got uh, 30, about 30 seconds left, and then they're going to have a three-minute. Is that, that right? Was, I think that was. Or is that minute. it? Yeah. Okay. So. Well, I, I, I'll say it like this, and I think everybody at home can understand this. Is that, uh, do or die right now. Uh, I know we have a 10-point lead. We feel like we're maybe a little bit negative, but <clears throat> we need to get – uh, we, our body language looks a little, little off kilter a little bit, but maybe because of the injuries. But Flat. we need, yeah, yeah, we need to come out and get aggressive there. Maybe we need to get Jagger willing to do something here on the kickoff. He, he, he got us fired up last time. Let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, we, we, uh, like I said, uh, we, we come out here and they will get the ball. Uh, we're, we're kicking off. They're going to get the ball. So. Uh, hopefully we'll see we made some adjustments and we'll be able to contain him better. You're right, though, Tony. We're sitting there talking about all these things, and we do have a 10-point lead. Sometimes that gets lost. But, right. But but we know we, we have to look at those things, at, you know, to to let everybody know what we're seeing and, and what they're seeing, actually. <laughs> so. Yeah, and it's not – we know the potential. We know We know the capabilities of this team. And um, hey, Tony, the referee on our side now, he's limping too. So, oh no, must okay. be something about this sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, kicking off the second half. Conrad Reed, there you go. Through the tornadoes, great placement. He takes it on the hop, he's back, got a runner and breaks tackle, still spin move. Somebody finally got a hand on him and not letting go. That's Bryson. Yeah, Bryson Kelly. Like uh, I said earlier, we put some licks on him, but we got to wrap up. Saved a touchdown right there. I, I hate that when we when that guy gets that running head start on that kick return. Yeah, he 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 filled it out one hop and he was gone. Yeah, he's pretty scary. He he has some wheels. 
And uh, we got to keep him in front of us this second half. Um, tornadoes, two man, two man defensive front with three in the back. There linebacker you go. comes I, up. I was glad he got. Now he bounced outside. Spears. We got a flag down here. They're going to be caught for an illegal motion here. <clears throat> Bring that back. Receivers trying to look for a play from the sideline, and the quarterback didn't let him get set. He got caught moving, and it's going to cost them five. Unless he waves this off. Yeah, there you go. Legal shift. I think that's a good call by the official down here. We'll take it every time. So we got uh, Bruins have a first and 15 now. Negated that play. And I'd be looking at this number eight, <laughs> wide out to the, split out to the right for the Bruins. Um, he's a speedster. There he goes on the route. They hit him. Uh, we got to make a play there. He breaks one tackle, still on his feet. Uh, got the first ja down. Jackson Mock on the tackle for the Tornadoes, and he, he broke the tackle, and he got that first down. Gene. Looks like we're running a little zone here, and we're giving him a little cushion, and they're taking advantage of that. Yeah, Jagger Willing in at the corner position. Is that right? Is yeah. that what you call corner and eight corner man? Corner linebacker, something like that. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Two men down. Quarterback, keeper. Takes the handoff, goes to his right, looking for running room. Uh, initially, the first person to make contact with him, uh, Cole Gregory, and... I don't know, it was Jackson Mock or, or Bryson Kelly that came over and doing a lot of substitutions right now. And uh, we got, got Jackson. got nine yards on that play. We've got Jackson and, and uh, Bolton and Tanner Willing on the sideline right up the middle there for the Bruins. Jackson Mock and Willing on the, or Jagger Willing on the tackle. <laughs> We've got. Kevin Willing and Bolton on the sidelines for the Tornadoes. And Bruins have a first 10. <coughs> Twins to the left. He looks, puck fakes, wow. throws those to deep. He's got a man wide open. That's touchdown Bruins. That's exactly what we did not want. Yeah, he Jonathan bit on the fake there. And receiver ran past him. Throw was on the money. Not good news there for the Tornadoes on that touchdown. Big two-point conversion here, Tony. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, every point's going to matter from here on out, that's for sure, as in any game, but let's hope to... Tornadoes can stiffen up. They got motion, sending three to the right, uh, trying to get a balance off balance line. Now they've got quarterback rolling out. He takes a hit. He's out of bounds prior to getting the cross. It looks like, yep, no good. Uh, big time hit, knocked him out of bounds, kept him from getting in by Bryson Kelly, I believe, wasn't it? Jim? Yes, I think so. With 10:33 left in the third quarter. The Tornado is still leading 30 to 26. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and uh support your school's booster all right we're back here at riddle field caddo uh jake mckay is going to kick off to the tornadoes here from north to south bison kelly is going to be back 
for the Tornadoes to receive. Standing about his own 30-yard line. Got to secure this thing in case they kick it short. Yeah, I got uh, McKay kicking off, Jake McKay kicking off for the Bruins. A lot of... Uh, Going to kick it over here to their side this time. Got to get on it. There you go. Kevin Gooch for the Tornadoes tries to make something out of that. Um, Going to take first and ten at our, uh, what, 30-yard line, Tony? Yep, I believe so. Yes, sir. 31-yard line. We'll take that. Extra yard. Bryson, uh, Bryson Kelly and Jackson Ma, uh, Jackson Bolton coming in the game for the Tornadoes. They break huddle with a first and ten on the 31-yard line. Tornado's kind of a bunch set, Gene. Tight formation, yeah. Kelly takes snap, rolls to his left, oh, cuts it upfield. Here we go, breaks oh, one yeah. tackle, cuts it back in. Still on his feet, picks up enough for a tornado first down. Brought down by a host of Bruins. I'm telling you, he, he's thinking to himself, I'm taking this on myself. I'm going to will us to victory here. And uh, looks like he's just taking on the whole Bruin team there in the secondary. <laughs> uh, they do a good job of pursuing. They don't, they don't stop until the whistle blows. So no, there were several. Better. Yeah, you're right. There were several defensive linemen for the Bruin down there uh, following the play. Ten minutes left to go in the quarter, 17 on the play clock. Tornadoes break the huddle in that bunch formation we talked about. Kelly takes snap, rolls Option to his right. Three. Options of two. Uh, Jackson speed. I was hoping he'd just jump over that guy right there, but <laughs> he, he lowered his shoulder and delivered a blow. So It's good for about five yards, Tony. We'll take that every time. Yeah. More time we, more time we take to score, less time they have it. So, 9:23 left to go in the quarter. Tornadoes now go to, with twins left. They only got one D back, and there he goes. There he goes. Slings the ball out to uh, Jonathan Chavez. He's still on his feet. Never got taken down, but he got he got pushed out of bounds there. Well, he just put his shoulder down and kind of ran over 13 there, but that's a good play call. Get get our players out here in space, get a good block, Get pick up the first down. Is that 13 Brazil? Yes, Brazil, yeah. So good for a tornado first and 10. Ten on the play clock. Ten seconds on the play clock. Tornadoes come up to the line. Got twins to the left. Here we go. Mock lead blocker. Uh, Bryson Kelly goes in behind him. Good for about what four? Yeah, yeah. I think he got four right there. You know, Cato's not real big up front, but they're they're pretty much holding their own against this. That's what I was going to say. They're, they're holding their own. You know. Give them credit. Uh, yeah, we got the size advantage, but they seem to be getting off those blocks pretty well. Second and seven. Ten on the play clock for the Tornadoes. Handoff goes to Jackson Mock. Oh, move. spin nice move. move. Nice move by Jackson. And I think he's got enough for another Tornado first down, Tony. Great, great effort by Jackson Mock that time. Good run. Good spin move. First guy couldn't get him down. He got the first down. Good job, Jackson Mall. With some of the people injured out there, he's going to have to step up some more. So it's good to see that. He's willing to do that, and he's done it all year. So. So we got twins to the left. Gene, first and ten for the Tornadoes. Chavez in motion. There it is. That play we seen earlier in the second half. And they're going to throw oh. a flag again. Oh. I, something we're doing right there. Wish I could replay it, but the, I think it's on Jackson Ma. 
Yeah. Got him out there on the edge. We just got to do a little better job of when they get, when those guys try to get by, just let them go. Yeah. It's hard to do when you're a player in the action, but you, know, you got to have that discipline. That Johnson's got about 25 yards on that play, but not one of them counted. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> 7.53 left to go in the quarter. Tornado's up. Uh, tornado's 30. Bruins 26. We got twins out to the right now. Uh, Bison fakes the run. Throws it. Hits Chavez on the run. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch, Gene. Yeah, I set it up. Looked like it was going to be a... Mm. Late flag. <clears throat> yeah, I think I, I think we're going to get an unsportsmanlike against Jonathan here. The game of 22 yards is a flag on the play. Oh. <laughs> the down's going to count. And that's going to bring up third down. And I think it's going to be third down. Or second down. One of those. I thought it was already second down, but I don't know, I guess. Is that is that pretty common? I mean, you, you officiated football for over 30 years. It, to If someone verbally says something, do they usually get that? Yeah, you're not saying anything to anybody. You talk to your team and your team only. Well, I'm sure glad they didn't hear, hear me when I played sometimes. So Here we go, Tornado's look. He's open in the middle, but... Uh, Bison had to take off uh, there. He's seen him late and uh, just had to take off and get what he could. Yeah, I mean, puts us kind of at a disadvantage because we don't know what to do now. We, You know, we're afraid to block too much because... This is a big play right here. We don't have to get it all right here. We can get half of it and then get some on fourth down. Like somehow overcome that that penalty. Um, close set with twins to the left. Four, three on the clock. Uh, play, uh, uh, miss play block. block. Right miss there. block. Jackson gets taken down. That's going to bring up fourth down, Gene. Yeah, Jonathan had his guy got by him. He made contact with him, but couldn't stay with him, and he made the play. Lost the two yards there. We got fourth and 15. Is this a go for it or is this a little? Oh, no, this is a go for it. Dink punt. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's a go for it time. 6.35 left to go in the quarter. 13 on the play clock. Eight on the play clock. Wide receiver split right and left. Bryson Kelly oh. looks for running room, and, and again, it breaks down. Got another flag it. down. He's got, oh, he had, uh, Cole Gregory was the intended receiver. If that's on us, they're going to decline and take the ball there. I hope it's holding on the receiver. No, it's on us. They're calling OPI, Offensive Pass Interference. Yep. Here comes Jackson Bolton comes off the field. Looks like he's favoring his left side a little bit. I think Drummer's going to take a timeout here. Coach going to talk to the official and get a clarification. Yeah, that's what we got. We got Coach got the timeout here. We'll take it with him. We'll be back. Tornadoes leading 30 to 26. Cattle's got a first and 10 just outside their 40 or 30 yard line. We'll be right back. Club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. 
These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. Caddo takes on, takes over at their own 31-yard line. They got all the momentum in their favor. Let's see if we can have a defensive stop here. That would be preferred. Bruins got twins to the right. And a... Slot to the left. Quarterback Spears takes it up the middle. Um, brought down by Bryson Kelly, number one, and Jonathan Chavez, number 81. That's enough for a Bruin first down, Gene. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I don't understand that. He didn't get touched until he got about seven yards. I didn't. I don't know if they're doing doing that good up front or we're just not making contact. Tornado show a three-man front now. Uh, Spears throws it across the middle. Pass complete on the run. Great throw by Spears. And uh, yeah, that's 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 Mullins on the reception for the Bruins. Gene. Yeah, he's wide open down the seam there. Easy pitch and catch. Five fifty-two left to go in the quarter. Hey, if we didn't know it, we're in a we're in a battle here, guys. Yeah, and uh, old Mo is a fragile thing, isn't it? Momentum. Runs in a bunch formation. Man in motion. Now he cuts back. Now he's looking at him. He throws across the middle, back of the end zone, and he, they get the two-point conversion. I can't make out that number, but... Um, it don't matter, Tony. Spears is really <laughs> Spears is really spot on with his passing. Yeah, he's, and he's wide got, open back there. And he's got time. I mean, man, he's had time to throw. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can talk about this a little bit. This is a position we've only been in once this season, and uh, we uh, rallied back and won the football game. So uh, we can do it. We just gotta find the find the fight here. Kevin. Kevin Gooch is over there trying to stay loose on the sidelines. And <clears throat> he's trying to run, get where he can put some weight on that foot. Well, <clears throat> we're you know they're gonna they've been keying on Bryson, and, and they're. Now with some of the limitations we have on some injuries there, they're probably going to do that a little, little bit more now. So we're going to have to have other people step up, and that's why they call it football. It's not golf, so it's going to take all eight of us. Bryson Kelly is back deep to receive the kick for the Tornadoes with Kevin Gooch and uh, Jackson Mock on the second level. It's going to go out about the 40-yard line there, and we'll get well, five more on top of that. 45, right? Yeah, after the five-yard mark off, it should be first and 10 for the Tornadoes at their own 45. And that's what it's going to be. If we ever needed an answer right here, this is it. <laughs> yes, sir. 5.52 left to go in the quarter. With all these seniors in that huddle, we need somebody to step up and get us going again. Yeah, we've got seven guys uh, playing on this field for the last time in their career, seven seniors. So uh, 13 on the play clock. We've got uh, 
Bison get Kelly takes right it. There. He's got a block. He lowers see his he head. See how that kid goes low right more. here? Yeah. <clears throat> Those kids aren't very big, but, boy, they'll come up That's and uh, get you. He's got enough for the Tornado's first and ten, though. Uh, keep moving those chains. Now, I keep saying this, but the kettle's not very big. I mean, no. They're, uh, they're, they're not very big at all, but they'll run to the ball. They're like piranhas, man. They, they stay after you. So we got twins to the right. Uh, Bryson takes it, throws it. Incomplete. Intended for Jonathan Chavez. Yeah, just went, went a little too, too far to the boundary. Good coverage by Spears for the Bruins. Second down and 10 here. Inside Caddo territory. Cole Gregory and Jonathan Chavez split to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it up the middle. He had a seam, and he took advantage of it, Gene. Yeah, he he had an opening there, hit the opening, and uh, he didn't get touched till number one got him after five-yard pickup. <clears throat> Going to be third and five for the Tornadoes here. Obviously, two down territory. Four down territory. Two from here. So There you go. 5-17 yeah. left to go in the quarter. Bunch formation for the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, rolls to his left, pitches it out. Do not like that Jackson play. Mock. <clears throat> uh, it's going to bring up fourth and six, five, six. Um, not much a, gain on that play at all. We lost. Any. We lost a yard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We got to get past the uh, 35 for a first down here to right. about the 34. So it's going to be about fourth and six. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously the biggest play of the game for the Tornadoes here. So. Chavez split right. Cole Gregory to the left. Bryson Kelly takes the snap. Looks right. Throws a bullet out there. I believe Jonathan came down with it. He, he got it. Jonathan Chavez. That'll be good for a Tornado first down and 10. And big Jonathan. play, big play by the Tornadoes there to pick up that first down, Tony. Yeah, and Jonathan all year long, he's a, he's on the good hands team, isn't he? Yeah, he's a, he's always hauling them in. We're going to need him down the stretch here. I'm I'm about ready for a Chavez interception. He he's got six on the year at least, and we wouldn't mind if he got one right on their next possession, right? Yeah, I was going to say he's still on offense, isn't he? Yeah, he is. But I mean, I'm talking about when they go back home. Oh, okay. All right, twins to the left. Uh, for the Tornadoes, Bryson Kelly takes a snap, goes up the middle, and here we go. It's the Bryson Kelly show. Oh, he, Woo. He's taking it upon himself, but he is fired up. I yeah. love that kid's competitiveness. Give me the ball and get out of my way, he says. Feed me. 25-yard pickup. First and 10, or first and goal, I'm sorry. Last time we were down here, we got... First and goal, and we ended up having first and goal from the 40. So let's punch this thing in. No penalties. 3.37 left to go in the quarter. 10 on the play clock. Twins right for the Tornadoes. Kelly takes a snap. Tries to get off to his right. He's still on his feet. He oh, about right. three tackles, and he's in the end zone. He ran over his own player to get out of the way, and he still got in. <coughs> Man. Good run by Bison. I mean, the will, he's hes willing them to it. Determination. Yes. He will carry you, he says. I'll carry you. Just get it to me. Block somebody. Tornadoes take a two-point lead. This is a big conversion here. Not like the NFL. The field goal will get you a loss. But right. Twins to the right. Bryson looks right. Throws. He got complete. Cole. No he got in. Yes, sir. Yeah, they gave it just now. That two-point conversion is good. And we love it. We love some of it. We like it. We love it. Want some more of it. 
Tornadoes 38, Bruins 34. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. Is it time for your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you. All right, we're, we're, we're back from story time. Tornado's about to kick off with Conrad Reed. Let's, get, let's not kick it to this guy and give him a running head start. I'd rather kick the dang thing out of bounds. No, not to him again. Uh, keep it away from Wingfield. Oh, we're doing an onside, onside kick. Onside kick. Didn't gotta go, go far enough, did it? go 10. Now it is. Yeah. That's right there on it. Yeah. Hey, we got that. Yeah. That's right there on it. Hey, I don't think they know what to do here. It touched the line. It touched the line. It touched the line. Hey, you can't do that. It's got to be. It went 10 yards. If I had the Jeopardy theme, we'd be playing it right now. Somebody said, you better call somebody. You better call somebody. <laughs> Get the right call now. Come on now. If it if it went five, 10 yards and we recovered it without any penalty, it's got to be our ball. Anything else less than that will be their ball at the 50-yard line. On the line's good enough, isn't it? The ball was on the line? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Should be us then. Now, I'm just going to prepare you for, if we don't, <laughs> don't flip out over there. <laughs> it's a big call. It's an important one. Oh. Yeah, exactly. We can take 30 minutes if we need to to get it right. When they stand there and they've got that deer in the headlight look, you know, oh, I don't know, maybe. That's the scary part. Yeah. They're going to give us the ball, it looks like. That a baby. They, I think they got that right, guys. It, it, it took some time, but I think they got it right. And, but for Coach Harmon over there, it's going to be, it's going to bring up memories for me <laughs> and Jamie over here because he's, he will be face-to-face -face yelling at <laughs> Hey, there we go. We got the break we needed. Uh, three, three minutes, 23 seconds left to go in this quarter. And tornado ball. He's either going to have to call a timeout or get off the field and talk to him on the sideline. I, I mean, I, I don't know. He's not allowed to go all the way out there, right? Well, if they, if they allow him to. Well, I mean, <laughs> he can go in the huddle if they allow him to. That's not. It's, it's all up to the officials. And you knew this was going to happen. If they went the other way, our coaches would be doing the same thing. So we just sure. need, to, need sure. to just take it with a grain of salt and move forward. But he needs to call a timeout. He can't hold up the game like that, so he can talk to him all day during a timeout. Well, I, th I think everybody's gonna. I think you, as an official, you give a little leeway, especially if you if you know if you're, it's a tough call, give a little leeway to him. Well, after all that, we got we got twins uh, to the right for now, the twins. Now we got a flag. And now we got a flag. It's gonna be on the. On the coach, it's he, it's a, oh, he's going to give him a 15 yarder. So I mm. thought maybe it was an unsportsmanlike uh, sideline running, but he's giving him the 15 yarder. So that's going to give us a first down at the uh, Caddo 35 yard line. Okay. 
Well, Cattle can either respond by getting mad and doing something about it, or they can lay down and we can take advantage of it. So let's, let's take advantage of it, Tony. I'm all about that. Here we go. We got Chavez and Cole Gregory split out to the right. Bryson Kelly takes the snap, goes right up the middle, and oh, he runs right over this guy. I, I, knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. I hate that when that happens. You have a controversial play, and the first play out of the gate, you got an official throwing a flag. Yeah, I don't know if Bryson hit him too hard when he, no, Bryson was running with the ball. Chase over here. No. Chase Blyers with a hold. You knew that was coming. I, I mean, it's just human nature. And we didn't even really need it. So it's going to bring up a first and, uh, what, 16? Yes, sir. And after all that, there's still 320 left on the clock. <laughs> well, it's going to be first and, first and about 18, Tony, so. Yeah. we got twins to the right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. Same thing you've seen a while ago. Here we go. Better result. And he gets upended, but man, what an effort by Bryson Kelly and the Tornadoes get the ball out to the 30, Gene. Yeah, he's got a lot of that yardage back and then some, so it's going to bring up a second and five, so I like that position better. I see a little pep in the step from the red team here now, which is good. I like to see that. We're still limping, but we got a little pep in the step. Yep. Same formation. Uh, I think Caddo's going to take a time out here. They are. I think our kids are pumped up a little bit. I think that play, that onside kick kind of really turned the tide here. We'll take a quick break. We'll back to Tornadoes football. Your Tornadoes are leading 38-34. We'll be right back. I do throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Riddlefield. Tornado's got a second and a little over four at the Kyoto 30-yard line, Tony. Yeah, we got uh, Jonathan Chavez and Cole Gregory split out to the right for the Tornadoes. Bison Kelly takes it, looks, goes to his left. Oh, he's he's got open field. It's bye-bye. Touchdown. BK1. I'm telling you. <laughs> He is playing lights out. No flags. Lights out. I'm telling you that he has had a wonderful year, but he's having a great night tonight. Oh, man. His team has needed every bit of it. Yeah, at a night when you need great leadership, he he has supplied that plus. And, you know, it, it's playoff time. You don't play next week if you don't win. So. Here we go for the two-point conversion. And with 2.43 left to go in the quarter. They're stacking that middle, Tony. They know what's coming. Yeah, and it, they're going to get it. And they got it anyway. So and he's they, in. They knew it was coming, and they had no answer. And that was big because that gives us a 12-point lead, Gene. Yeah, it's a two-score two lead. Um, we've got all the momentum now. Now our defense needs to step up, make a stop here, and go and get back on offense. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Squirtle. All
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros and sports training. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. Your Tornadoes are up 46-34 with 2.43 left in the third quarter. About to kick off to Caddo. I hope this was not as exciting as the last one, but I uh, hope we uh, get the ball back. But that last kickoff was amazing. Yeah, I don't. I could do without another one like that. Unless we get the ball again, I could live with it. Yeah, we'll go through that again. Kind of looks like it might be on one side. He's coming this way. Definitely coming to our side of the field. There it is, one side. It goes up. They got cleaned it, cleaned it. Uh, Kicked it to the best player. Yeah. And he, Peavy House, he got great hands. So. Yeah, and he, we haven't seen a lot of him tonight, have we? Nope. Knock on wood. Hopefully we don't see him again. Yeah. Right. Lock him down. Uh, but he he come up with a sure hand on the sure hands team. He come up with a good play for the Bruins. So. Yeah. That's a tough break for us kicking it to him. But <clears throat> this is where the rubber meets the road, Tony. We need to. We need to play some defense here. That is correct. We got twins to the right, uh, single to the left for the Bruins. Quarterback up the middle. And there he met go. really nicely. There's Owen Gray. Oh, oh come, come on, on, guys. Really? Owen Gray on the stop. Um, and uh, Jagger Willing was also in there with Bison Kelly. They're going to get Owen for a personal foul, 15 <laughs> yard penalty. <clears throat> oh. uh, it's going to give them a first down. So you cannot celebrate at all. Is that it, Gene? Well, you can't celebrate by pushing the player. So I mean, you even though you're trying to tackle him and all that. No, thing. it was over. He okay. pulled the whistle and he pushed him. I mean, you got to do little things like that. Got to, got to sure that up. Mm. Especially when you got a crew like here looking to throw a flag, so yeah, you got to. So here we go. Spears is back. Got got lots of time. Pass is complete. And uh, Jagger, Jagger, Jagger over there. That's a good play by Jagger. Oh, we got a hold on Cato. What? <laughs> Mercy me. Okay. You know, when I was officiating, I didn't get paid by the foul. <laughs> <laughs> you did, man. Uh, well, they, they, these guys would be run the millionaires clock. tonight. Run the clock. <laughs> can we run the? Can we start the clock, Gene? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. Two twenty-seven. There, there we go. Finally, we get the signal from the. Run at two twenty-two left. Um, twins to the right for runs. First and forever, Spears got a little bit of time, throws it out there. Oh, that ball was real close to being on the ground, Gene. Yeah, he plucked it. Ball, 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 ball. He fumbled oh, it. Oh, gosh. They got, they got, they're going to call a face mask on us, yep. I'm afraid. Yeah. I hope it was a mean bag, not a flag. <laughs> Personal foul. Oh. Targeting? <laughs> oh man! Oh, what? I'm not sure he. There's you got to launch and, and no, got to hit him at the top of the hell with the mm. shoulders above the shoulders. Mercy me! I huh. I don't know, guys. I have to watch this when we get home. But this crew has struggled tonight, to say the least. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, wow. this is a violent sport. I mean. Uh, first and ten for the Bruins. Quarterback Spears looks. Now he takes up off the middle. Takes up. And uh, he's brought. Nope. Runs he avoided it. He hit the end zone. He, he, ran, he ran over Jonathan there. It's about the ten-yard line. And he went in to score. That's the answer they were looking for. Not what we were looking for. My gosh, boy. They got every benefit of a doubt on that drive. 
Yeah, and the, their, their side saying the same thing on the last one. I know. <laughs> yeah. So some of those things just work themselves out. The, the problem I see with it is we lost all the momentum. So that, I mean, we were all fired up and ready to go. And then if we'd have got that fumble right there. There we go. He's throwing it. I shorted no the, short the end yeah. zone. Yeah. Bouncer. 152. Left to go in the third. Tornadoes 46. Bruins. 40. 40. Yeah, we'll take a quick break. We'll be back with a kickoff. You're listening to Tornado Football on Scordal. Injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging work seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals, giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the... Uh, we're back here at Riddlefield. McKay going to do the kicking for Caddo number nine. Ross and Kelly, of course, is down deep. Yeah, be careful here. They, they got the momentum. They might want to try an onside kick of their own. Oh, there they go. It's going to go right to Bryson. Here we go. Bryson Kelly fills it. He's got the corner. Is makes a, a tackle. Gets it to the what? Gene. 40, the 45-yard line of Gatto. Yeah. Every time they kick to him, they're putting their life in their hands. I, I, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm glad they're doing it. It's going to be at the 40, it looks like, though. 39. No, 39. 41. 41. Yeah, we'll take it. These guys, they're liable to set it down anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay away from anything uh, about officiating. I've done it before. It's a really tough uh, job, but I will say tonight that uh, it's uh, some of those are mystery calls out there. And well, they definitely didn't go our way, so I can't wait to watch it again. I want to. I want a penalty count, Tony. <laughs> 146 left to go in the quarter. Bryson Kelly takes it and goes up the middle for. Uh, maybe a yard. This would be a good deal to drive this ball down the field here and run the clock out. Limit the chances that Caddo has a chance to have the ball. Fans, congratulations to Stacey Higgins. She's the winner of the DHS cheer raffle. She wins it. Well, we got second and nine here. We got trips out to the left. Bryson Kelly. In the backfield by oh, himself, yeah. got a little quick jump right there here. by number 75. Coach Eller, he's, he's known for that freeze play, has been for years. Works like a charm there, get five quick yards and bring up second and four for Dylan, your tornadoes. Dylan Spears um, called for the offsides for the Bruins. Got to bring up second and uh, four, Gene. Yeah, I think so, Tony. Trips again to the left. Bryson Kelly empty backfield. Bryson takes a snap, throws it out there to uh, Jackson Mock. Looks like uh, pretty close, but uh, probably gonna bring up third down, Gene. I think he's, I think he's got it, but yeah, he's pointed first down. But there yeah, we go. They're moving it the him. sticks. So. Is it how much time you got left? We got 50. 50 seconds left to go in the third. All right, he's going to wind the clock here. We're going to have to have a play before the end of the quarter, so. Tornado's in no hurry right now. As long as they get that snap before the play clock. Nine, expires. seven on the play clock. Kelly takes the snap, goes off to the right side, oh. still on his feet, there's a flag down. <laughs> they got Tanner Will and they just, he just grabbed the guy and threw him to the ground. 
I don't think we could say anything about that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was pretty obvious. Even though it's probably the 100th holding penalty we've had. Boy, a penalty <clears throat> count. What do you think about that? I don't know. Well, I'd like to have a count and see how many penalties there are for us, for sure. Yeah. For both teams, actually. So. I tell you, when, when I officiated, I kind of wanted to be not seen or heard, and uh, this is not happening tonight. These guys are being seen and heard, so. Be a part of the game, not the game, right? Yeah, let the kids decide it. Stay out of it. Let the players play. Trips to the right, first and 20. Seven seconds on the play clock. Bison Kelly drops back, looks. Rolls to his right, now he's scrambling around. He lets it oh, fly, oh, that's and that's going to be intercepted. And that spears on the interception for the Bruins, and, and he's bad. got one man to beat, and yeah. he's brought down. So Bison got his arm got hit right there. That's the worst case scenario yeah. that could happen for us right there. Bison Kelly on the stop for the Tornadoes, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a great play for him to stop him because that, he's hard to stop one on one. He got him down at the 29 yard line of the Tornadoes, but that is just a tough, tough break. 39, I'm sorry. So That's the end of the quarter, isn't we'll it? We'll be starting the fourth quarter right now. All right, we'll be back to the start of the fourth quarter. Return interest is still ahead, 46-40, but Caddo's threatening. We'll be right back. ...of the Oklahoma workforce, serving thousands of companies, fueling this state's economy. Oklahoma is powered by Career Tech. experts at versatile networks a call in most cases we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill call us for a free quote today Uh, we're back here to start the fourth quarter here at Riddle Field. It's going to be uh, first and ten for uh, Caddo at the Tornado 39-yard line. Rubber meets the road. Fourth quarter. Here we go. They're, they're looking to throw. He's gotten under pressure. Blowers on the chase. Blowers. And he gets help from a friend. Rip and here ball. comes Tanner Willing. And that's oh, going to be a flag for playing football. You get flagged for a tough tackle. Wow. Tanner Willing come in. He was still up. He was still trying. And uh, Tornadoes are going to get a flag on that. Gene? I'm, I'm, a lo <laughs> I'm at a loss. I mean, th I mean, we can't play football. And that's a, and that's a, this is a gentleman that respects the occupation and has done it for over 30 years. And that's what you hear. Boy, I don't. Now they're having a little conference about it. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna give it to him. That's, that's not good. Still gonna bring out. I think they're gonna be short of the first down, first and first and five, but second and five. I guess they called it a dead ball foul, so it's gonna be second and about five. So. I don't know how oh you can call a dead ball foul when the ball gosh. is, the guy's not even on the ground yet. No whistle. I know, I'm standing right here. I didn't hear no whistle, so. Oh, lay, man. I hate to be a homer, but that's that's just ridiculous. They've got twins out to the right now for the Bruins, one to the left, and uh, we show a three-man front. Spears takes it, and he's brought down immediately with no flag, Gene. Don't hurt him. Don't Chase touch Flowers him. on the tackle for the Tornadoes. What a play. Good job, Chase Flowers. Hey, that's what it takes right now. That's going to bring up third and, third and eight. You know, if, if we got it, 
from what I've seen this year, if we've got a grinder on the field, it's Chase Flowers. Yeah, he's, he's he always just been grinds. He just keeps working. This is a big play for the Tornadoes right here. Either two make men them have fourth down and long or not. Two men defensive front, but we're showing pressure from the outside. Now they drop. Now we bring it from the blitz. outside. And quarterback Double. makes a good play. Ball's on the ground. He's got to be down. He was down when he fumbled. Wasn't he? I would say so, but oh, yeah, we got a little. flag. That's going to be on us again. Four? Hmm? I think it's going to be on us. For what? I'm, somebody's chattering. That's going to kill you. You have them down four, unsportsmanlike. <clears throat> That's going to give them a first down inside territory, inside the red zone. I don't know what happened, but guys, you're going to have to just keep it tucked in your pocket. <laughs> well, the fans are here giving them the business. It's, it's a good thing they can't throw the flag on the fans, right? Well, they can boot them out. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the problem is this, Tony. Since that was an unsportsmanlike foul, I don't know who they give it to. But if, the, if he gets another one, then he'd be ejected for two games. So we got to learn to zip it and keep playing football. Because you know that was an unsportsmanlike foul was something that was said, not done. So. Well, he marks that yardage off like me going for a pizza. <laughs> um, hey, what? There wasn't anybody around when he threw the flag, so. Well, Tony, when they talk, you don't have to be touching them. <laughs> uh, Unsportsmanlike is a talking foul, not a contact we, foul. You used to get a warning for that a few times, didn't you, before they just started? Have you ever been stopped by the police and not got a warning and just got a ticket? I'm real nice to them, and I always call them <laughs> sir and officer. And I, a lot of times I will just get a warning. Hey, here we go. No flag yet. Good stop by the Tornado defense, and that's Chase Blower, Blowers in there again, Gene. Yeah. We gained a couple of yards there. 10.59 left to go in the quarter. Single to the left, twins to the right. Spears takes it. He's looking across oh, the field under a little bit of a pressure. Now he lets it go across the middle. Uh, wing, Winfield on the reception for him. And, uh, first and goal at the five-yard line for Caddo. Jonathan Chavez on the stop, Gene. Yeah. He came up and made a nice tackle, but he got the first down and first and goal for Caddo. Yeah, and, you know, Spears just kept looking and, and buying time back there, and he found Wingfield. So 9.30 left to go in the fourth, 15 on the play clock. I'd be Five on the play clock. I'd be surprised if anybody but Spears got the ball here. Yeah, twins to them. There he goes, off to the play. right, going for the pylon. He got it. And we're knotted up, Tom. They got a number 75 looks to be shaken up for the Bruins, but. Yeah, it's the biggest play of the game right here, this two-point conversion. We talked about it all season long, and now it's coming to fruition, Tony. Yeah, here we go. It's uh, single to the left, twins to the right. Spears takes it. He's looking left, pumps it, got all kinds of time. You got it. Looked like a diving catch in the end zone. Of course it was. And the Bruins take a two-point lead over the Tornadoes. Um, with 9.09 left to go in the fourth. Well, we said it would be a battle, and uh, we weren't we weren't kidding when we first started. <clears throat> so we're going to have to uh, do what we haven't had to do a lot this year is come back from behind. I don't think I don't think we've been flagged this many times. In four games. No, I mean, I 
I don't know. I just give a, you know, like baseball, when you got an umpire that's calling the outside corner, you better go out there and get it if it's out there. Got to adjust. Yeah. You know, got to not say anything and do the best you can to stop at the whistle and let the chips fall where they may. And tackle them like you love them. You know, I can see us getting one, and, and as a coach, I wouldn't be so upset during a tackle, but when you're over there and you're chirping at somebody. You can help them. Yeah, that's something you do not help your team with. I'd like the competitiveness, but, you know. Boy, there was a lot of talking going on when we played, and not everybody got flags. I don't know. Hey, times are changing. We haven't played in 40 years. I know it. I couldn't play again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't even have face masks back then. <laughs> Bryson Kelly back deep to receive the ball for the Tornadoes. Oh, he's Good kicking goal. it straight out of bounds. Yep. I'll tell you what, that coach, he said, I'm not giving him the ball. I don't have to kick it to my wife up here in the stands. <laughs> will, that, will they get it on the 44, Gene? I don't know where it went out. It should be the 45 if it went out. Okay. 40. He's going to make them re-kick it, which is a really smart move. Which we haven't seen a whole lot this year, you know, having somebody re -kick. Well, maybe not. They're getting the ball. Yeah. So they're going to take it first and 10 at our own 45-yard line, Tony. Good field position. This is unfamiliar territory for us, so um, see how we respond. Tornadoes break the huddle. We got 15 on the play clock. Chavez split out to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it up the middle, breaks a tackle, still on his feet. Now he's down. Five yard pickup. Five yards for Bryson Kelly and the Tornadoes. Phillips on the stop for the Bruns. I know it's still a lot of time left in the quarter, but this is a big drive for us. It's important we go down there and do something with it right now. Put the pressure back on them. Yeah, with 8.38 eight left in the fourth. Yeah, I don't know how many times you're going to see the ball again. Got 10 seconds on the play clock. Twins to the right. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, takes a handoff, throws it out to Chavez. Chavez. Not brought down easily. <laughs> he no. twisted and turned and got another four yards out of it, Gene. Yeah, just get back to the huddle there. Mm -hmm. First down at the Cat 040 here. <clears throat> Clock running. You know, I, I know Cat knows what they're going to get, so they're going to get. We're going to get one left, one right, and one up the middle. <laughs> I hope it's BK1 all the way, right? Yep. Eight minutes left to go in the fourth. Bryson Kelly takes it off to his left a little bit, and he's brought down after about a gain of four, Gene. After all the games I've watched, all 11 games of Tornadoes here, they have done the best job of tackling Bryson Kelly this year. Mm -hmm. You know, I know he's got a lot of yards and some touchdowns tonight, but for the most part, they've done a good job when they've got him one-on-one -on -one to tackle him there in the middle. It's when he gets on the outside is when he's done his damage. Yeah, and they're, they're coached well. You can tell by the way they approach their tackling, their fundamentals and stuff. And then. Yeah, I mean, like I said a hundred times, they're not very big, but they're coming up and doing what they have to do. Tornadoes come out with twins to the left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap from... Jackson Bolton, now he's off to the right. Oh, just a little bit. He liked just a little bit, Gene. That zero there got the shoestring and got him down after a couple of yards, but he's going to bring up a third and a little over three. Yeah. Proctor for the Bruins got the stop for them. 6.55 left in the fourth. Tornado's down two with a third and four. Coming out with Cole Gregory, Jonathan Chavez out to the left. 
Takes a snap. BK. He's got the first down. Bryson Kelly gets the first down right up the middle. Just lowers his head and wills his way to the first down, Gene. Yeah, he's at the 28-yard line. First and 10 going in here. Clock running. Be nice to score this touchdown with no time left, but the odds of that are astronomical. <laughs> now Jackson Mock brings the play in for the Tornadoes. He, uh, Chavez split out to the left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, hands off to Jackson Mock. Maybe a gain of a yard, not much. Good play by the Bruns defense. Yeah, we've got to protect this football down here too. They got a player shaking up on the play for the Bruns. Number seven, Noah Dry, sophomore D lineman. Hope that kid's okay. He went off on his own power, so I'd like to see that. Trips to the right for the Tornadoes. Second 10, 524 left to go in the game. Opening that field up for Bryson Kelly, and there it goes. Oh, I thought he was going to cut left, Gene. Yeah, he couldn't because he was waiting on a block there, and Zero made a good job of, of getting him down there. Proctor for the Bruins. I'll tell you what, if, if you came to this game and you picked him out, you would never pick him out as that kind of player, but he is a player mm -hmm. for, for them. Just a sophomore, too. Yeah, big, they got a big they got third a down team. here, Tom. Huge. Third and two with 448 left to get fourth. Ten on the play clock. Twins to the left. Bryson Kelly takes it, looks. He doesn't have much running room right now, but I think he's got enough for the first down. He sure does. Man, he just refused. Well, that's because he ran right into the back of his lineman. And he refused <laughs> he not, to, not to get the first down. Yeah, he, he absolutely was going to get that no matter who he had to run over. Now they've got a D lineman. Uh, Bruins have a D lineman. It looks like he may have got his ankle hurt a little bit. That's Dylan Spears for, for Caddo. That was a big first down. Yeah, Bryson is taking it upon himself here to carry our football team here. Running the football for us. 418 left to go in the game. Twins to the left for the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, looks, gets off the left side. He's in. Woo! He broke a tackle, and he was all the way. Touchdown, Tornadoes. Gene, when he got through the line of scrimmage, was, did he met? Did he did he have anybody else try to tackle him after that? Yeah, I, that was two or three people tried to tackle him and couldn't get him down. He got through. Can't, they're not going to tackle him with them arm tackles for sure. Here we go. Another important two-point conversion with 4:08 left to go in the game. Chavez to the right, offsides on somebody. Gene, did he pick up on anything? No, nope, can't see. You know. We talked about how these two-point conversions are important. This one's not quite as important because they can still take the lead even with a six-point lead. Six right. Point, but, you know, the longer their defense is out there, the better. Cole Gregory, Jonathan Chavez put out to the left for the Tornadoes. Bryson Kelly takes the snap, looks up the middle, goes up the middle, walks yeah. in. There it is. Well, that's going to give us a 54 to 48 lead, Tony. I'll take any lead right now. <laughs> yeah. Now, what we're going to have to depend upon is our defense. With 408 left, biggest stop of the season right here for the Big D Red here. Big defensive stand, Tony. Yeah, it's it. Season on the line. It's all going to come down to this. And they, I say it all the time. It's so cliche, but that's what it is. Now, it gets to this point, everybody's banged up and everybody's bruised up. It's, it's Who wants it the most here in the last four minutes? Who's going to dig down and find that extra 
extra gear, that extra will. That's what happens when you do all them extra sprints and all those weight liftings and those reps. That's what this where it happens, where it pays off right here. Yep. You think about those times when it comes down to that in a game like this, and you think about all that time and effort you put into it. A lot of schools sitting at home watching on Scordal not playing, and we're one that are playing, so we need to go out here and, and give it all we got in this last four minutes. What would you <clears> – what's the best kick here? Out mm -hmm. of bounds. Out of bounds. Give them an opportunity Give it to them on 35, right? Yeah. As long as it goes past the 30, just kick it out of bounds. They don't have a chance to break one. See the way they're set up with um, – See the way they're setting up. They're setting up for to cover the field. We haven't seen very many teams do that, but that's a pretty good strategy because we like to put it. We like to put that ball on about the thirty, right, Gene? Yeah, I would. I mean, that's what I'm begging for. No, oh, so we're gonna kick it in Onside the middle. kick. And they recover it. And they're gonna get it on the forty-six, right? Yeah, I think you're right, Tony. I, I don't know if I like it, but it is what it is. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> well, like we've said a hundred times, this is it. Yeah. Well, if we can stop them here, we can grind it out on offense, and they won't get the ball back. Big word is if. We yeah, stop if. Them. Twins to the quarterback's left, one to the right. Pierce takes a snap, goes to his right. He's got Owen Gray chasing him, but he gets enough for the first down, I believe. I James think he's short out of bounds, Tony, by two yards there. I think he's out at the 45 of the Tornadoes. Okay. Which stops the clock, which is not our friend. So. Four oh three. Is the clock? Does the play clock run? Although no, the, the game clock, the, ball, the runner went out of bounds. But the okay, but the play clock is. Yeah, it starts at, at forty. When, it's at thirteen. There we go. The handoff to the uh, running back. Good yardage uh, made by the Bruins on that. Um, well, we're not putting up any resistance so far. Kevin Gooch on the stop for the Tornadoes. Do not want to them to take this ball all the way down and score in this ball game. And it goes back to that region prep game when it was when it was really tied up close and, and their and their coach was taking the time off the clock to uh, here we go, Spears has got it. He tries to go left, nothing there, cuts it back right. You gotta take a better angle. Got a flag down. If it's a holding, I will love it. Usually, where that flag's down at, who called it? It's usually holding. The old umpire. Here come uh, Chase Creekmore in the game for the Tornadoes. He's going to give Jackson uh, Bolton a breather. Personal foul. Blindside block. That's a 15-yard penalty. That's a, that's a break we needed right there, Tony. Put them behind the sticks. Most definitely. Of course, they're they're pretty good at being behind the sticks, but I'd rather us have them 15 yards back than where they were for sure. Mm-hmm. So that's going to put them, put, what, put them all the way back at their own 49? Huh. I like it. That's uh, kind of where they started at in the first place, right? Yeah. 331 left to go in the fourth. Tornado's up, 54 to 48. Bruins have the ball. First and 25. Now to have a decision on where the ball was spotted. <laughs> you, mm -mm. Would you think of anything less tonight? No, no. Have you guys seen a full moon anywhere? I don't know. That's the only thing we're missing. <laughs> Let me stick my head out here. If it ricochets that light off your head, it may look <laughs> like the moon. <laughs> Okay, so they're going to give them some yardage back, so two yards. So it's going to put it inside Tornado territory at uh, Tornado 49-yard line. Wow, I like that first spot better. Yeah. If we lose by two yards, uh, get that, I'm going to be upset. Okay, they got uh, 
Trips to the quarterback's left, single to his right. He's at single backfield. Spears looking to throw, pumps it. Still got plenty of Put time. Pressure on him. And now we got a little pressure. He throws oh, it up, and he open. gets a completion to the young man that we said we haven't heard a lot from tonight, but he come up big air for the Bruins. That is a touchdown saving tackle by Cole Gregory. He just reached out there and got him. He, he was going to go score. So it's going to bring second up. Second down, they got all of it back but one yard, Tom. Oh, sickening. Great play by Cole. So here we go. We got trips to the quarterback's left. Single to his right. Just trying to get somebody to move up here in the secondary. Spears is very athletic. He's shown that. He's got a problem with the snap. Now he takes it. He oh recovers it. Gosh, he's, he's going gone. off to his left. He's looking. He picks up a block. He just goes down. He goes down. A smart move by him, probably. Um, not for the first down. I mean, I don't, I, I don't believe in deja vu very often, but this looks just like the region prep game. I That's mean, right. Same, same area of the field and everything. Mm -hmm. Hope we get the same result. Right. So it's first and ten for them at the what? Where are we at? Twelve yard line. Well, yeah, it's almost the same spot exactly. And uh, the only difference is that they haven't been trying to milk the clock. But they got trips to the right. Quarterback slings it out there in the flats. Uh, good play by a tornado. I think it was Bison Cole Kelly. Gregory. Bison Kelly. He oh, poured Bryson. off that blocker, just shoved him out of the way, and said, I'll tackle this guy, and, and did just that. So, good play by Bryson. Really come up well, shed that block, like you said. Uh, usually that's a – I couldn't see the number, so I said Cole Gregory. Usually that's where Cole's hanging out at on the defense, but it was Bryson. Bring up second and 10 for the Bruins with 156 left to go in the game. 156. And now they're going to start playing the. They're going to milk a little clock here. Five left on the play clock. Ball snap. Quarterback Just takes off. Oh, Ooh. there's a quarterback sack. He got hit pretty good right there. That's my kind of party right there. And I think no flag on the play. Tanner Willing. Uh, who else did you see in on that? I, I saw Tanner Willing. That's all I saw. Yeah, big Tanner Willing. Somebody Ripping else ball. had him. But. Uh, whoever's playing our. our our defensive tackle on the left side. So it's going to bring up third down. we got to get ready here. Third down, one to the right, one to the left. Spears is looking left. Throws it out there in the flats. Jonathan Chavez on the coverage. Going to bring up a fourth and seven, Tony. Here's the ball game right fourth here. Fourth and seven. Everybody's 50, standing on 50, both sides here. 50 seconds. The clock's still ticking. Uh, the coach is going to take a timeout here. Uh, 45 seconds. He stops it with 45, 44 seconds left in, in the quarter. We'll take a quick break. Come back with a finale. You listen to Tornado Football on Scordal. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordal.tv. Find out more at scordal.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. It's going to come up with fourth down and seven. Mercado at the Tornado 10-yard line. Guys, this, this could be the ball game here if we uh, stop them. Get on your feet wherever you are. That tornado's out here. Twins to the right, one to the left. Spears takes a snap, rolls to his right. He's looking to throw. He's got a little pressure. He lets it, it down. Go. And that oh, pass is complete. That, that is unbelievable. 
with 38 seconds left to go. That will tie the game up, Tony, and this will be the game on the two-point conversion. 54-54. Man, that was a great play by them. I got to give them all the credit in the world. Like we said, you know, Spears, he's going to roll out. He's going to give you cover, and he doesn't lose his composure. He, he makes great throws while he's rolling out. Yeah, he's, ever since I watched the very first film on him, he scared the living David out of me. And he's proven to why tonight. Yeah, he's a baller. Well, it all comes down to this, guys. People get on your feet here. We got to go. They got a wide receiver split to the left. Now we're going to call timeout. Yeah. We'll keep it right here. 38 seconds left to go in the game. Tie ball game. Tornadoes Bruins, 54 all. Now it's been a, it's been a great high school football game for sure. Whoever loses this game is going to be heartbroken to beat the band. I'm telling you, because both teams have deserved to win, but only one is going to come out of here a victor. The winner of this game, whoever it may be, will get to play Velma Alma at a neutral site next week. So during Thanksgiving weekend is what the weekend you like to be playing. So I'd like to see the Tornadoes there, but we're going to have to. Uh, Stop them right here on this two-point conversion and see if we can do something in 30 seconds, Tony. Well, you, you know, if you're sitting at home watching the ball game, you, you've seen a well of a game on both sides. Yeah, it's a shame somebody has to lose. Right. And uh, they're both, both teams are very well coached. And uh, when it comes down to games like this, little things like little stuff makes the biggest difference. 38 seconds left to go in the game. Tie ball game. This two-point conversion is huge. Mullins, so, Mullins over here to the left. They've got trips to the right, one to the left. Quarterback scrambling. Spears looking. Tornado's got a good rush on him. Keep it on him. Let's go. Oh, oh right through the incomplete. hands of the receiver in the back of the end zone. Pass is incomplete. It's a tie ball game with 38 seconds. Hey. I tell you what, guys, I got a defibrillator, and that thing may be going off here in a minute, I'm telling you. Oh, man, don't. This is pretty exciting stuff. Hey, we'll take a quick <laughs> break, uh, gather our thoughts here, and we'll be back with Tornado Football. Tied up 54 54. We'll be right back. Automation. We think like owners and behave as long term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. All right, we're back here at Riddle Field. Caddo and Drumrod are tied up at 54. Caddo's about to kick off here with 38 seconds left in the game. Drumrod's got two timeouts. Caddo <laughs> is fresh out of timeouts. So we, we've got 30 some seconds here to 38 to do something. And uh, I hope they kick it to Bryce. Well, I hope they I kick it deep they as they can. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to play defense again if they do. Because he's liable to take it to the house. Hey, he kicks it onside, and we, and we gather it here. Uh-oh. Going on bounds. That was good strategy by them. Yeah, it goes out at the 30. He executed we'll take it, well. it at the 35 here. <clears throat> <clears throat> we got the last say, Tony. We may not have a lot of time left, but we got the last say. That's right. The only thing we need to do here is make sure if something should happen and we throw an interception, we got to make a tackle. So. I don't think, well. This coach here, this, this coach try to. Does you, Coach try to do something here, or does he? Uh, I think you, Bryson, Bryson Kelly has taken it to the house a okay. lot of times. Okay, Tony. All right. You get to say it now. They are re-kicking. Uh, they are. 
first time. Can I ask you a question? Because I don't know. Yes, sir. How many times can you ask for a re-kick? As many times as you have a foul. If they want to kick it from the half-yard line. This could be a long night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to mention about the uh, Oliver Tom that could follow with this, you know, because we could be here till 3 o'clock in the morning with overtime. Yeah. The way these teams play, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But we got to get – we have a chance to have the last say here, so – so it backs him up. When you take it, it backs him up. Yeah, every time you have him re-kick, it's five-yard penalty. Hmm. Good to know. There we go. It's, we got what we wanted. We now did. Bryson we exactly it clean. We Bryson Kelly Kick looking it. for an opening. Bryson Kelly He's gonna get down and hits down to the 50-yard line with 33 <laughs> seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. 33 seconds left, Tony. I'm looking for Bryson Kelly to go 50 yards to pay dirt. Yeah, I hope you're right here. We need to be careful here and keep our hands in, no holding. If we do break one, let's make it sure it's clean and, yep. and good. We just can't turn the ball over right here. Hold on to the ball. We got Bryson. twins to the left of Bryson Kelly. Bryson takes it to his right. He takes it. He's got an opening. He breaks a tackle. Nope. Run him out of bounds. Yeah, he, he stiff arm number eight there, Wingfield, and, and got out of bounds. Saved us a timeout. Great play. 28 seconds, 29 seconds left. 29. Clock stopped, Tony. You know, all you can hope for is having the ball in your hands here to win a ball game. That's right. That's what we got. Twins, uh, Jonathan Chavez, Cole Gregory out to the left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap, goes to his right. Get out of bounds. He got the number. Get out of bounds. He did. Got the first down. 26 35 seconds. Yards. 35 yards from pay dirt. 26 seconds left to go in the game. Tornadoes with the first and 10. Just inside the 35-yard line, Tony. And here we go. Yeah. Yeah, let's don't get cute. Let's just do it again. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, ride that train, baby. Here we go. We got the same uh, setup. Twins to the left. Bryson Kelly takes it. Going off to his right. Looking for running room. Gets out of bounds. I still think we're trying to set something up here. Uh-oh. Bryson pulled up a little bit there when he went out of bounds, Gene. We've, we've seen Bryson kind of walk walk slow and then and then take off and go 30 on him. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, the way the way this kid plays, you right, have to have it cut off before he goes. And he <laughs> may go out there anyway. Right. It's just a flesh wound. But he, uh, 23 seconds left to go in the game. Tornadoes break the huddle. We got twins to the left. Same formation. Bryson Kelly takes snap. Looks up the middle. Now he cuts it to the right. Now he's still on his feet. Face mask, it looked like. I don't know from here. But 17 seconds left on the clock. play clock. Got the first down. Saved the timeout. The closer you get down to the red zone there, the those two timeouts mean everything. So you can throw the ball across the middle. Of course, in high school football, the ball stops on the first down, so that'll help as well. What a football game. Oh, man. Could you ask for more? No. Yeah, I'll touch that right Yeah, I'll just, touch just to win, there. yeah. Here we go. We got single to the right, single to the left. Bryson Kelly takes a snap. Now he looks. He's looking to throw. It's not there, so he takes off to his right. Picks up a good block, and he's knocked out of bounds. And, I hate uh, him taking that hit like that. Yeah. Proctor, zero on the play with 13 seconds left to go in the game. Hey, what do you guys think we should be taking a shot to the end zone here? <clears throat> I just can't help but think they were setting something up, but. Yeah, I mean, I can see him running over here like he has been and throw, throwing the ball. Cole Gregory came in there really excited. I don't know if <laughs> Cole Gregory might have something to do with this at the end. So, twins to the left. Tornadoes take the snap. Looks to throw. Thrown on the flats. 
Chavez gets out of bounds. Call timeout now. Eight oh, seconds no, he left. Called, he called him out. He's, he's out. So it's eight seconds left to go in the game. Down doesn't really mean anything. It's third down here because probably going to run out of time. We're going to have may have to take a shot at the end zone here. Yeah, and if you get in the middle here and you get stopped, be calling timeout quick. Wish we had a field goal kicker. <laughs> so here we go. We got wide to the right, wide to the left. Bryson Kelly drops back, got the time, throws it, got it past him, got it, oh, touchdown! Touchdown, Tornado! Cole Gregory! What a grab with three seconds left to go in the game. What a it catch up by 60 to 54. What a catch by Cole Gregory! Man! And then, that is, that is a gamer, Cole. Yeah, and, and it kept his balance and got into the end zone. What a play by Cole Gregory. And I'll tell you what, that ball had some zip on it. Man. <laughs> All right, this is a great game. And now we're going for two right here. This is big right here. I think Jonathan Chavez split out to the right. Bryson Kelly takes it up the middle, pushes it. Pile still moving. No, they're saying he's down. Don't see anything. They're Don't saying no, no good. No Dad good. Gum, we needed that. Two point conversion was no good with three seconds left. All right, guys, three seconds. We can see just about anything, hook and ladder, anything right here on this yeah, kickoff. Yeah, it's, it's going to get – it could get crazy with three seconds left. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> <clears throat> guys, I, I'm I'm telling you. Wow. Seen a lot of football games. Really good football game we watched tonight. Three seconds left. Was that not impressive by Cole Gregory? Oh, it, it, he, man. his body, I mean, it, yeah, he, he had to torque his body around to catch the football, secure it, and then get into the end zone. He brings, it, he brings, it, he brings the ball in, then turns it upfield. <clears throat> Great presence of mind. Never lost his composure. Tony, whatever you said, you were right. He was bringing in special something. Yeah. He brought it in. Well, he there. came in. When he, when he ran that play in, it looked like he had a little bit more uh, kick in his step or something. I don't know. Now, whatever it is, it's working. But we got three seconds here. We got to get this three seconds off the clock. I, I'm telling you, if I was the coach, and I'm not, don't claim to be, but I, I would kick it out of bounds and let them throw the hail mary. I would not. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know it's tough getting that quarterback the ball, but man, I don't want him to run the kickoff back either. So no, it's <clears throat> yeah, it's like. I don't know what your best percentages are, but I'm. Something's got, I mean, something's got to give here. The Bruins are real, really well coached, and you guys know that. And I'm sure he's went over some options here on the kickoff. Look at the way they're setting up. They're just a little bit different than the way they normally are. Well, we're going to. They got something in mind, I guarantee you. I don't know. <laughs> Here we go. I wouldn't want to check my pulse right now. Three seconds left to go in the game. Conrad. Conrad. Conrad Reed. Is Conrad Reed. Done a good job. Done a good job. And here we go. It's the last kick of the night. And oh, he touched it. it. He touched it. Oh, man. That, that's no time. time. No? None? Who's keeping the clock over there? No no seconds kickoff on a kickoff? No seconds to call. No, well, no. He, he touched it. Hey, you can't blame anybody but our. It's our side over here. Yeah, who's keeping the clock over there? Hey, ask Covington Douglas. They'll tell you that seconds mean <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys. We've got to be prepared for just about anything here. Spears is – we've seen him work his magic – all year long on film and now live in person. Do not let those guys get behind you. Why are we playing up so far? <clears throat> Back up a little bit. They've got twin. They've got. There we go. They've got trips to the right. All right. Uh, coach is going to call timeout. Uh, timeout. He's going to talk to him about it. What he's seen. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be back with the last three seconds of this ball game. You're listening to Tornado Football on Scordle. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. For more than 100 years, Oklahoma Career Tech has been training skilled and dedicated individuals. Uh, we're back here at Riddle Field. Tornadoes in a in a prevent defense here about the 40 yard line. We've got a three man front and one spy. There's Jackson Mock, Tony. Yeah, Pearson, there he goes off to the right. You never know. No, they're going Owen Gray oh, he's all down. over him. He's not down. He's not down, but the ball will hit the ground. Now the ball's on the ground again. And there we go. That's the ball game. I like a little. So they they said that that was incomplete back here, right, Gene? On the no, they the said he was down. He picked up the ball. Okay. All I'd right. Like to thank Jamie for Thanks, James. the great film work. Thank you, sir. Um, Man, again, you know, the Bruins, they left it all out on the field, Gene. Yeah, they did. They sure did. All right, well, drum right's going to be in the quarterfinals next week against Velma Alma. It'll be at a neutral site, probably somewhere in the city area, Putnam City, somewhere like that, Western Heights. But we'll find out on Sunday. But We'll go no matter where. We're, we're, we're loving this game. Tornadoes 12-0 going to the quarterfinals with a hard fought. And I do say hard fought, 60 to 54 victory over the Caddo Bruins. We'll sign off for right out now. We're going to go down and congratulate the kids and uh, think about next week. But, Tony, thanks for what you do. Enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you. And uh, thank you for every week setting everything up and keeping my hands off all the uh, computerized <laughs> equipment. And um, it's, it's, been, it's been a great run, and we're going to continue it now. Um, I don't know if we'll have another Squirtle broadcast I, I don't know what the future holds gene no, well, we'll find out and we'll let everybody know but with that being said we're going to sign off here tornadoes are victorious alumni all over the place can celebrate tornadoes are going to play and practice during thanksgiving weekend and those of you that know a little bit about high school football know that it's treasure time love it so final score tornado 60 Cato 54 you're listening to tornadoes tv on score Doll. good night everybody giving clear career paths to over 90,000 graduates a year. These individuals are the heartbeat of the Oklahoma workforce.